Because what I was going to do is, uh, like, literally standing next to my mother, I was going to pop Angelic Avenger. Oh, um. All right. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to buff myself. Uh, I think I would use, uh... I don't think protection from wait would protection from evil good work in this instance because I think they're all undead, right? Well, there is a lich too, so technically that would help. Mm. Or should I get shield of that protection from evil? Good. Yep, that's my buff. Yeah. yeah. And then dispel magic. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I will. Uh, just for the DM's notice, I will have the shield guardian prepared. Shit, I need him to Which spell? Prepared. Something, I think he can't store anything higher than 4th level, right? No. Nope. Yeah. So, if you store a spell that's at, uh, that can be cast at 4th level, like, say, Fireball, mm -hmm. it'll automatically just be downgraded to 4th level. Yeah, yeah, so I will just say... Uh, fire, fireball is, like, 3rd level, so... Uh, I'll just store... Oh, shit. I um, do you, you want to suggest? Do you want to... Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, just as, yeah, as if shit really hits the fan, yeah. what, maybe maybe you can make it out and you can tell our story. <laughs> as <laughs> how if we did they're going to the target me first. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. They're going to target yeah. me first. Yeah. <laughs> now, granted, just so you know, because of the charisma boost, mm -hmm. uh, everyone is getting plus six to their saves. Yes. Uh, because you're in my uh, aura. Plus and six? then wait, you get another you get another plus six from me. From yeah, saving that's true. throws? Holy shit. Yeah, for yeah. saving throws, yeah. So, so it's stacked. So it does stack. Okay, twelve total. Also, just so you know, um Iona as an action has an ability called Mercy, where she heals you fifty hit points, and it doesn't matter what conditions you have, she will heal you of those conditions. Yeah, yeah I did All see right. that. Alright, I like that. I like that. Like yeah, we got there's a fighting chance, guys. <laughs> yeah. No got, matter like how slim is, it may be. Uh, I think is, we gotta take out Kane first. He's the tactician. Yes. He is that's, the tactician. That's my plan. To he is the, yeah, he, well, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going up against seven of the strongest adventurers in existence. Okay. Yeah. Oh, by they the way, been, just, just a they have items. And in, oh. in addition to their classes, they have items, and they have been buffed, and they are ready for war. Yes, I know. Fuck. Um, uh, just one quick question. I'm assuming they're all undead, correct? Yeah, we yes, can. No, they are both so undead so and so celestial. So. Yes. Okay, just it's just it's just for uh, Holy Avenger because it that will give me extra damage. If yes. Needs anything. Okay, good. Okay. But like I said, these guys have they have magic items or they have been altered in a way that mimics magic items. Yeah. They have gotcha. already cast their own buff spells on themselves. Yeah, I know. They, yeah. they, 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 they knew we were coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they knew you we were coming, they were re they are ready for you. I'll probably say I also have protection from good and evil since everyone's doing it. The cool kids, mm. are, they are all doing it, so I'm just definitely going to do it. <laughs> Peer pressure, damn it, even yes. at the end of the campaign. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I'll tell you what the cool kids are using. <laughs> the cool kids are Kane and Amaya. They use, they're using foresight. Yeah, oh, no. Uh, oh, shit, I don't have foresight. Fuck. Nah, it's fine. Yeah. Ah, that's nothing. That's them. Yeah, so if there's disadvantage on attacks against them, it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and they get advantage on attacks against you. Yep. <clears throat> well, that's even. That's out fair. With that's fair. Production. Uh, just a question. Horrible. The so the saving throws. You said you guys said so. It's total of twelve. So here here's the thing. If you are in thirty feet, mm -hmm. well, I think it, it, it's is it thirty feet for you, Viral, or is it only fifteen feet? Fifteen. Fifteen. Probably fifteen. Yeah. So if you if you're within fifteen meet, feet of Viral and thirty feet of me, you're gonna get plus twelve. Okay. So yeah. I would just write down on the global saving throw modifier just plus twelve. Yeah, you can put that. Unless, unless you're like out of. You know, unless you're out, unless you're shield. out of range. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but global not if you if you're outside the range. Yeah. yeah. Also, um, since we're talking about auras, Iona, while you're within sixty feet of her, you gain ten feet ten hit points at the start of each of your turns as long as you're within sixty feet of her. Yay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. okay. Of, human. of course, her, own, her personal regeneration gives her a hundred points around. Yep. 
because they're probably going to try to jump on her. Try, try and Yeah, and her, they're yeah. probably going to dish out more than a hundred, like, mm. in a single yeah. round. Yeah, that's like, nope. <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, my God. We got this. Man. We got this. We got this. Well, she also has something of a nuclear option. <laughs> Well, let, let you know what Lee, you maybe want to leave that as a surprise. Yeah, then, yeah, no, the nuclear like, option is something like... that they don't know about. It's uh, it's her divine presence, mm. oh. and uh, you basically have to make a DC twenty six Constitution save or go permanently blind. Um, Whoa. Alexander Anderson is the only one here who is immune to this effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it includes us too. All right, yeah. all right. Mm. Shit. <laughs> so I'm a little worried about her using that because I don't want to permanently blind Viral and Savannah, but if it comes to that, well, she can she can reverse it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'll, yeah, it'll it just, just take some of her action, probably. Right. Some okay. Also, um, by the way, I know I gave Viral legendary his a uh, true sight. He never really had a chance to use it. Good news. He gets to use it now. <laughs> why? Why wouldn't yes. you be able to use that? Are, I mean, because it? people are going to be turning invisible. Uh, or because Esna, you know, Esna yeah. at least, yes. her, at least her, at least she has a cloak of invisibility. Yep. Fuck. So she can just flip it, that hood up and then she will be able to shoot you with impunity. Yeah, I know. Yep. Coward! Ranger, Coward! No, Ranger. Coward or excellent tactician. You decide. you decide. Both, but you're still a coward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pulling arrows out. It's like, you're still a coward. I get to write the story. And the way I write it, I'm the hero. Yeah, I get to put, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Author's bias. <laughs> yeah. Author bias. Wait, Vero, just oh my God. a quick question. How far, uh, what's the damage on your Stormtrooper spell? Uh, not enough. Uh, 1d6 plus 6. Are you sure you want me to try to outbow the No, 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 no. I was, like, providing you with alternatives. So I have cross hand crossbows. There's also 1d6, but they are plus 1. I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna go with the range option in this okay. fight. I mean, yeah, I, I, think... I doubt I would have to. All right. Yeah. Well, there's more than enough yeah. people for us to hit. So. Yeah. Or can we hit them? That's the thing. Nah, nah, it's fine. Nah, I don't, I don't hear Vulcan quietly laughing to himself. Yeah. <laughs> You're hearing me chewing my Ritz crackers. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> And the lamp is not going to start until these guys start comboing you. Yeah. Because their spell selection was made with combos in mind. Oh, yeah, goody. No, no. All right. Now, why so, don't we roll for initiative and get this show on the road? Yeah, yeah let's this do it. This is going to take a while. This it. is going to take a while. Okay. So we're just starting to roll and start. All right. Come on, initiative. <sighs> do it. <laughs> Wow, that's 18, decent yes. for me. Oh, 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 oh yes. my god. Oh my god, Vero. <laughs> oh, my oh god. Vero is... Guess who's going last. Um, Guess who's dead? Yeah, that's true. that would be you. <laughs> that, oh, boy. That would be you. Are you, sure, are you sure you don't want to use luck, or do you want to save it? I mean, I'm going to save it. I mean, yeah, save it for yeah, the saves, yeah. Okay. Save it for the saves for the attack girls. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Shit, All right. That's a really high initiative order. I mean, mm. twenty three. Yeah. These guys have twenty one. Shit. I got. I got lucky. Yeah. Yeah. I well, uh, let's. Um. Well, these guys. They've. Um. They've spent time min maxing. I yeah. Know. So, <laughs> like, any non essential skills have been minimized. Mm -hmm. So, if you can guess what those non essential skills are, <laughs> you might be able to stand a chance against them. Yeah. All right. All right. Just Alexander is just standing at the witty with his six wings out. And uh, just as a visual, his eyes have gone completely white. And there's a, a spinning halo around his uh, vision, similar to Ion Iona. Yeah. Going and she. Supernova. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... Well, right, for, no. for me, uh, oh, fuck, uh, I don't, just quick question, uh, so, I just, I was looking at Counterspell, like, a lot of times, so, I just found out that, uh, so, when you cast Counterspell on an opponent's spell, the opponent can't really use Counterspell, because it's not their turn to do reaction? Mm. 
So, <laughs> it's meant to be a reaction, so you can't. Yeah, so yeah, the it's opponent can't really say I counter spell your counter spell because it's yes, like, you can actually. Really? Yeah, you can use it as a reaction. Reactions can be taken on any point during yeah. a round. So ba yeah. basically, basically how it works is that it's like let's say I cast a spell, mm -hmm. they could cast counter spell on me, but you could use your reaction to, to counter spell that counter spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm yeah, saying counter spell like, more. Oh, okay. So you can like even though you're the one uh, getting. Uh, like counter spell, you can say I still cast counter spell to your counter spell, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically. Yeah. Okay, but that means. Uh, oh, the person... sweet. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so Alexander has true sight now. Hang on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so that means uh, they don't have their reaction afterwards because of, like. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll just refresh roll twenty. Yeah. Right. Or will they decide to simply tank the hit and save the reaction for something that they really need it? <laughs> I yeah. Know. Right. So Iona casts True Sight on Alexander, and then she all right moves in. Let's just say she's this. Party inspiration on everyone. That's your turn. Yeah, I know. That way, we that the I think we're out of. Yeah, we're out of We're in initiative right now. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So wait until no your more turn. prep time. No more prep, no more prep time. All right, so Iona's she's just going to advance forward slowly, just dragging the tip of her sword in there, scoring a groove in the in the stone. Nice. nice. And so, yeah, she's just looking like a hard ass. All right. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a cold at work. Uh, so Esna, right. she's just going to flip the hood up of her yeah. uh, of her cloak of invisibility and go invisible. Okay. And you hear her moving around somewhere out there. Okay. All right, yeah. All right. Deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths. <laughs> <laughs> inhale, exhale. Yep. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Mm. Yep, and Freya will follow suit. All right, now Kane does not have a cloak of invisibility. He has some other crap that he needs. Yeah, let me Should check them. Have filled a wither, wizard? Should I have filled a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> why did I build these characters yes, that I, I should have why? known Vulcan was going to use against us? <laughs> oh, that was so terrible. All right. Uh... I should say they're all blunts. They're all barbarians. Yeah, That's yeah. it. Well, <laughs> honest, honestly, the good news is also um, another thing thing while Falcon's figuring out what to do. Yeah. Uh RTCs are way higher. Because of the well, at least um mine is. Mine is like twenty now. Your what? Your spell save my spell DC. Yeah. Oh it's better. Same here. Mm. Oh yeah, because you're paladin. Yeah, so okay. So that's gonna help us quite a bit. So Oh that the twelve also extend to spell save? Yeah. No, well, no, 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 not not the, the just our charisma. Remember, our charisma got increased to twenty-two. Yeah, but uh, how did you guys get thirty? That's I only got twenty-two. Wait, you... what, how... No, we don't have thirty. No, I'm saying we we also got twenty-two. Oh, okay. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, yeah. because we're always like, a few level in rogue. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like thirty. Are you guys for real? <laughs> it's like. Yeah. Right. That would be amazing. Anyway, like, Kane moves a little closer, and you see him. He lifts his staff and casts a spell, but you're not sure what the spell is. Can I? Can I see okay. what it is? Because can make I an make, arcana check. Can I make an arcana check as well? Go ahead. Come okay. on, don't fail me. Yes, twenty. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow, nice. yes. Fails him. Savannah, Kane just uh, locked you down with a force cage all around you. He chose the box version, apparently. Wait, us? Like everyone? all of us? Silvana, just Silvana. It's not just that big. Just Silvana. Okay. So he's basically just locked her down. Spell, so yeah. It's a seventh level. Yeah, still, like, it's really high. I need to beat that. Yeah. You see, it's, like, nearly impossible. I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. Nope. Okay, so you're in the force cage. Yep. Alexander, what do you do? Okay, um, force, I, I wouldn't know because I rolled shit. Okay, um, I'm just going to do, okay, here's what I want to do. Uh, first off, I want to see if is there a way that I could position myself to make a uh, sixty foot cone because I'm going to use dragon breath. Uh, uh, sorry, thirty foot cone to try and hit as many of the enemies as possible, and obviously not hit my friends. Not right now. Like not any. I can't see any. Like um, 
No, you can see them, but the way they're spread out. Yeah, okay. They made sure that they can't be nailed by a group, nailed as a group. So you're going to have to wait a round or two to use that. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Yeah, you're right. Um, well, what I am going to do is, uh, what is the nearest target that I can see? Um, the nearest target that you could see would probably um, would probably be Lagertha, and she's Lagertha. up next. Okay. Yeah, she says, uh, you see she's wearing full plate armor, and she's got two shields. Okay. Damn. Oh god! All right. Well, I'm gonna. Yeah, there's I'll, spike I'll, shields too. I'll so go have a. You. I'll go have a fight with her then. Now, if I move towards her, if there's anyone else that's near me, regardless of if they're invisible, they have to make a wisdom saving throw or be frightened by me if they are within thirty feet of me. All right. All right. So she needs to make a wisdom saving throw. So Erica needs to make a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> all right. Um, Liam is so happy right now. <laughs> I get to use all I like the it. This is the final. Battle. This is where I get to strut my stuff. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. What is your DC, Alex? Twenty. Twenty-two. Right. She failed with an eleven. Ooh. So as you approach, you actually hear her go <sighs> and hold the shield up to block the light. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna charge through. Um. Yeah. And uh, blah, 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 blah. as I'm charging through, I just put my hand across uh, Oath Keeper. It lights up with a banishing smite, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna take two attacks. All right. Do it, do it. Now, um, is she frightened, Lagertha? Lagertha is frightened right now. Yes. Okay, so I, because of that, I actually get advantage because of Angelic Avenger. Yes. All right. Twenty-eight. Thank God. Thank you, God. <laughs> that actually will hit. Good, good. I don't like okay. the sound of that, uh, though. Yeah. Actually, no, uh... you shouldn't. Um, as you strike her, mm -hmm. uh, you notice her armor flares up, and it seems to reduce some of the damage that you deal. Figured. Uh, I'm going to just pump the uh, Holy Extra, and uh, I'm banishing Smite, of course. Yeah, that's uh, not going to... That's not gonna stop her, but Oh no, sorry. no, I know. This I'm just throwing in some extra damage Four. for frenzies. <laughs> Minus. Oh <laughs> uh, well that actually, even then, that still did some significant damage to her. Okay. Uh, um, as you drive it home though, you hear uh, Kane say This isn't Mage Breaker armor, Alex. This is Godbreaker armor. <sighs> Trying to get we me will come break to you the way we've broken every enemy we faced. I'm going to stand strong tonight. I will not falter. And I will take my second swing. All right. 28. 28 is another hit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow, she's going to go down faster than I thought. <laughs> that is fine with me. All right. And then, uh, sorry, eight, and then the Banishing Spite, 25. Oh yeah, she that hurt her. Okay. All right. So is that your turn? That's my turn, unless she's under fifty, which I doubt. She's not under fifty yet. No, okay, she's, good. She's a uh, she's that's, tar. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's my turn. Yep, yeah, I'm done. All right. So now what's she gonna do? Where's my stuff here. Uh -huh. She's actually going to attempt to smack you with her shield right now, even though she's scared of you. Okay, so she has disadvantage. <clears throat> I am so sorry, I'm coughing away. It's all right. All right, what uh, is your uh, AC? Uh, 19. She's probably going to hit. Oh, uh, yeah, she smacks you with it. All right, you take uh, 29 bludgeoning and 7 piercing damage, and you must make a strength save, or you'll be knocked prone. Okay, just one quick second as I calculate. So, oh, sorry, what was the damage again? Um, 29 bludgeoning plus 7 piercing. Okay, gotcha. And then I need to make a strength saving throw? That's right. Mm. Nope. Wait. No, she's not too prone. Don't All you right. have, like, plus 6, you said, yourself? Like uh, plus it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. Oh. It's, it's for allies. Okay. All right. And All since right. you are prone, what she's going to do, these are big shields. She's actually going to plant her shields on the ground. And since she's technically not moving towards you, she's staying right next to you. She's able to push you along. 
Uh, just just <laughs> one quick reminder, Alex. You were also yeah. near Vero, so you still have plus six. Oh, that's true. So well, it's, it's just, be Vero was, was Vero it's was Vero was fifteen feet of him. Yeah, so I, I was I was way past that. Oh, okay. yeah. So, okay. So All right. Still thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Um. I right, actually um. She needs to make an attack roll against you, mm-hmm. which hits. Um. So, and you need to make another strength save to resist being shoved along. Okay. Oh, okay, you're able to resist. Nice. Yeah, you're able to like literally just plant your feet against the thing as she, tem- as she attempts to shove you. Oh, so you are a friendly creature. So it's like the creature gains a bonus. So you okay. do get plus you six. You do get plus six. Oh, I would technically. Well, yes. okay. Well, well, we'll continue with the what do we do. Yeah, yeah. We just add a plus right. six to your... Yeah, uh... just from this point on, that actually does affect us. Yes. It's not just our allies. Ooh. So we yeah. I would technically get a plus six. Well, um, technically, though, even with the plus six bonus, uh, 19 would not have been enough to resist. Yeah, no, I think. Yeah, but for later rolls. For yeah. later rolls. But, but for later rolls, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I, I, I just kind of get into a crush position, try to resist as much as I can. Resist. <laughs> um, hashtag resist. Um, next up will be Amaya, caretaker. Yeah. Very merciful. Uh, what will she do? Amaya's like eighteen, right? On initiative. Yeah. Yeah, you it's her turn now. Uh, I'm just asking. Because what's your dex, Silvana? I'm eighteen. Yeah, what's it? She goes first. Okay. Yeah. She's probably 19 or something. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Well, what must she do? Um, she will actually uh, use her shape-shifting ability first. Oh, no. Fuck that. And she will go evil Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, oh shit. We're fighting a dinosaur. <laughs> Picking the thing with the most hit points that she can turn into. Yeah. Okay. I know. You would. Oh, fuck. Should, should All right. Hang on. There we go. Shift. All right. So now she gets some extra hit points on top of what she already has. Plus six. Um. Druids OP, please nerf. Um. Yep. And then she's just gonna go stomping forward. That's probably enough. What's with the concept, by the way? That was for a concentration check. Ah. So, so you are no longer plus, yeah, because thirteen. No, that wouldn't have that would have been enough. No, because I took I took like twenty nine damage or something like that. I need like yeah, okay. So uh, uh, banishing smite is gone. Mm. Okay. Right, uh, Silvana, mm-hmm. you're inside a force cage. What do you do? I cast misty step to escape the force cage. Hold on. You are completely trapped. You need to make a charisma saving throw. Which is what I'm good at. Please be good. Yeah. Yes. 39. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. easily breaks it. I'm like 25. Miss. Jesus Christ. Yes. Holy Plus, crap, though. Yeah. 25. Really? Yeah, because uh, 12 from both of them. And then I already oh, have Oh, you're, calcu- you're calculating in... what yes. all of our saves would be. Hers yes. because of 30 feet. Yes. Uh, uh, that's why that's so high. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you just well, missed a step out. Nice. Ninja. <laughs> and then I look at Kane. Fuck. I can't do anything because he's going to counter spell. Shit. Uh, shit. If I don't do anything, he's still going to counter spell. So I'm just going to. Mm. How far am I away from Kane, though? At this point. 70 feet. 70 feet. You're just out of counter spell range. Yes. Okay. So I. Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. What can I do? Uh... Shit, 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 shit. 60 feet. Yeah, because it's like 70 feet is an awkward distance because most of the spells I have is like 60 feet or either 90 feet. Then uh, I'm gonna cast 
uh, synaptic static to make mm. them all yeah have disadvantage on stuff. Hang on, let me check. Uh, yeah, because can I can I cover all of them? It's a twenty foot radius. No. We'll cover no, as many like as I said, these guys have spread out to keep you from nailing them all with a yeah, single area true. spell. Yeah. If they group yes. up, it'll be around one of your friends, so you have to you'll have no choice but to get them in the hit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I would cast just hold try, monster. Yeah. No, I'm gonna just gonna cast hold monster on Kane. On who? No, 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 no. They're undead, dude. Oh, they're, shit, undead. they're undead. That's not gonna work. <laughs> shit, they're undead. So shit, just, just, shit. just do, do synaptic and just go for as many as you can. Yeah. Uh, wait. Does true polymorph work on undead? I'm just asking. I don't think checking it now. I don't really know because I'm not sure. It has no effect on a shape changer or a creature with zero hit points. An unwilling creature can make a wisdom saving throw to avoid being affected. It'll work on undead. Oh okay. Uh. Oh shit! There are just so many options. So many options. You know what? I'm gonna cast dispel magic on Amaya. On uh, Amaya. Yeah. Because she just used shape change, and I cast the spell. Well, one of the ones used her druid shape changing ability. Yeah, that's also a spell, so, right? It's so magical, so. Wait, uh, she's not yeah, using druid, the spell yeah. shape change? No, she's using druid, so that that would oh. probably not be under the same thing. It would. It's still magical. Any oh. shape changing effect is innately magical. Oh, okay, so would the spell technically uh, kind of work, or? It would have to go up against her spell. So the check you'd make would be going up against her DC. Mm. But yeah. go for it. That might solve the problem. I I'd, I'd go for it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cast the spell magic. No wait, I I can't really do that because I don't have a lot of spell slots. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go with the original stuff. I'm not synaptic? gonna change it. Okay. Yeah, synaptic. Sorry. On who? On, on who? as much as I can cover, especially. Pick one. Only Kane. one. Okay. Then, I would go for Kane. Yeah, then Kane, Kane seems like the problem. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let me let me go back to Snapchat. Let's see. Uh, okay, must do I you need me to turn on the or check eighty six? Description. I can turn oh on boy. the description. All right, so he needs to make an intelligence save. What is your DC? Twenty two. Yeah, he's really good? good at intelligence though. Shit. You good? All right. <clears throat> Twenty two. He misses it by one. Oh, oh my god! My god. <laughs> oh, that was so this close. is with the robe of the Archmage, by the way. Oh, oh good. Oh, right. <laughs> he, also, fuck. he also got robe of the Archmage. Oh, snap. Alright. Alright. At least he's lost in thought at this point. Yeah, that's right. good. Yeah, he immediately just pulls out a book and starts looking through it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Please. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So, what's the damage that Kane takes? Uh, twenty-seven actually. Uh, and then target has muddled thoughts for one minute during that time. Uh, all right. Uh, they roll one d six. Target. Okay. I'm just gonna put on the uh spell. Sorry, the spell card. Uh, spell card. Yeah. Right, yeah. I know. I. I just wanted the damage. I know what it does. Twenty-seven. One d six for. Twenty-seven. As well as yeah. just <laughs> maintain concentration. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Force Cage is not a concentration spell. Yeah. All right. Out, so it's fine. Yep. All right. Next up will be. That's your turn. Uh, yeah. I would like to stay within range of both of them, like uh, of both their aura can cover. So. Yeah. And I'm I'm gonna. It's a little difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the uh, Shield Guardian to try to uh, grab. Uh, actually, he's gonna use his action to try to take the staff. He well. Take the magic item he have on his body. Take it off. Is it possible? <gasps> You're gonna have to, he's gonna have to reach them first. Yes, so the shield guardian is gonna do that. So it's gonna go to uh the nearest would hey. be uh Lagertha. Lagertha? Okay, yeah. Lagertha. So that means you're going to have to start trying to peel the armor off of her. And she's not yeah. afraid of a shield guardian. Yeah, she's I know. afraid of Violex. Yeah. I mean, hey, you could you could, you could could have her... You could either do that or you could have her just punch with advantage. Yeah, I'm going to punch... Well, the shield guardian is going to punch uh, Kane with advantage. Is it possible? Punch Kane? He's going to have to... He's going to have to... He won't be able to reach it. He'll have to double move Kane's far behind. Okay. Yeah, Kane is hanging out in the back. 
All right. Mm -hmm. So the Glur the uh, Lagertha will be the one, and then who's next to Lagertha? Sorry, I'm just getting Alex. Surrounded. Yeah, I'm Alex. Here. And then anyone else surrounding? Mm -hmm. no. no. Okay. Well, I guess that's the sole options. Uh, what are the surroundings look like? Sorry, uh, I'm nitpicking right now, but I'm trying to find a better advantage point. Uh, you know, basically what you're in is almost uh, it used to be like a throne room. Okay. Almost. Mm -hmm. um, currently, currently your lich friend Skolzan is standing mm -hmm. on the on, where, on the dais where the throne once was. Yes. Um, there's a massive crater in the center of the room like a meteor fell in and smashed into it okay um that crater is currently full of blood mm -hmm. blood that has been drained from the dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of bodies that are piled up around it okay um there are large holes in the floor that mm -hmm. uh, lead to the utter blackness beyond and you saw that uh Ligurth was attempting to push alex out of one okay mm -hmm. i see um so it means currently, like the back that. rank members of your part of your family, like Kane, like Kane, um, Esna, and the like, they're all currently hanging out, and it's on the other side of the crater. Okay. The crater itself is about like sixty feet across in diameter. Okay, I got it. So when I get the proximity ideas, I'm gonna try to sh well have the shield guardian uh, flank Lagertha and just punch her. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, he can. Works. I know yep. it's gonna be two solid, two solid punches. Yeah, twenty-two and. She's 24. able to stop both. Oh. <laughs> Even twenty-four. Okay. Damn. So my 24. twenty-eight really made a difference. Yeah. So, mm. All right. Well, that that's gotta be it. That's it. That's it. So all right. Yep. It's your turn. Next up is Duke's turn. God damn it! This little. <sighs> oh, Duke. <laughs> What he's going to do is he is going to make a stealth check and burrow into the bodies. Oh, burrow? Wow. Because true, true sight, uh, well, more like uh, like tunneling under the snow almost. It's if he's tunneling under the bodies. Yeah. yeah. He gets a stealth check. By the way, my passive perception is 25. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. That. Passive perception. What is the rest gone. of your passive perceptions? My passive perception is a sweet 11. Mm. <laughs> Savannah? Uh, 18, actually. It's a sweet 18. Oh, All right. Um, the only one who notices where he is is Viral. And to Viral, he looks like a little lump that's moving around slowly but surely towards you guys. Oh, God. God. Predictable. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, and next up will be uh, Kellen's Axe, the Untouchable. Yeah. Kaz, Kaz, why? Oh no, the monk. Yo, oh, yes, the How monk. How many daggers is he gonna throw? <laughs> None. He's gonna do like anime style, run like bent over arms, sticking yeah. out backwards. Then he comes sprinting, he will go sprinting up to Silvana. Wait, I thought he's 60. Well, oh right, yeah. He, he's a monk. Yeah, he's, a monk. <laughs> he's a monk. He's on the other. He's also. <clears throat> he's also standing on the side closest to y'all. He's not. He's not a coward. He's not going to hide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going... has honor. That's rich <laughs> coming from me, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What Kaz is going to do is he is going to run up. He's going to attack Silvana. Mm -hmm. What is her AC? Well, 22, actually, because the shield guardian is by her side, so... All right, he makes it. With the first attack, with the second, with the third, and he misses with the fourth. So, with his total attacks, um, you take you take a total of thirty-three points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Ooh, ouch! Okay. Uh, so now, what he did? What, what he is going to do. Alright. Uh, the first one, I need you to make a strength show, a strength save. Uh, is right. he within either my range or her? She's or within the. Uh, I'm in both of your range, like I said before. Yeah, so. Like, okay, so plus, strength save. plus 12 to this. Yeah, plus 12. Wait, Where'd right. you get the other 13 from? 
What? Of your charisma save. Never. Oh, oh no, yeah, you still have. She, I'm proficient. She, she's got her own thing. She's proficient. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Damn. So make uh, a strength save. Yeah, why is it. The strength save is acting weird because it's like lost one. But anyway. 27. Hang on. It should be 28 right, because it's plus 13 because my cloak of protection also grants me plus one on saving throws. All right, yeah, his first attack was an intended, intended to knock uh, whatever you were holding in your hand out of your hand. Uh, I was... Which would be I would be rod. holding the rod of Lord of Might. Yeah, he would have knocked the rod of Lord of Might out of your hand. All right, next, for the second hit, I need you to make a constitution save. Uh, okay. So, I have... Uh, I don't have advantage, though. It's, no, it's, it's not magical. So. 20, 20. You're able to make it so he is not able to hit your pressure points and stun you. Oh, oh god. No, I know what the third about hit. To do. Shit. Oh, third hit. Yeah. Third hit, um, you're not sure what happens. But he misses with the fourth one. That's what yeah, happens. Quip. That's probably what happened. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now at the end of Kaz's turn. Oh no. Why do I make him a way of open hands? Sorry. Yeah, why did you? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> well, at the end of Kaz's noise. turn, Iona is going to use her uh, legendary action to use her God Blade on Kaz. <gasps> oh yes. shit. God Blade! <laughs> Let's see, does that hit him? I gotta keep flipping back and forth. Yes, it hits him. <sighs> okay. All right, so he is going to be creamed by this. Creamed? Nice. Absolutely just he's gonna be smashed. Okay. That's nice. All right, so would you like me to tell you the damage that he takes? I would love yes, to hear. Yes, please. Yep. Yes, please. <clears throat> All right. Um, oops, hang on, that should be better. All right, so he takes um, 80 slashing damage and 25 radiant damage. Man, so 105 points with one hit. Yeah. Wow. I would have gotten one shot by that. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. This is a god. This is Why a god. Is thank, yeah. thank My god. mom's the best. I mean, thank <laughs> god. Like, yes, please. Uh, thank you, Yona. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Yona. Yeah. <laughs> All right, like, Viral. Hey, it's finally your turn. Viral. All right, yes. I gotta start this with uh, with an opener. So like when I walk forward, flip my blade through the air, and I say, "Well, you guys haven't calculated everything." And then once the blade goes down to like my hand level, I grab it by the blade and said, and says, "Just because you have Godbreaker armor, you have to realize that fifty percent of us aren't gods." And I cast Blink. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Nice. All right. Yeah, so now you <laughs> vanish. You are now in the ethereal plane, and you see everything looks kind of uh, fuzzy from the, and bluish from the ethereal plane. All right. Who's the... I, I want to try to get to Amaya because I know she's the healer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how far is Amaya from me? Uh, she's about a hundred and something feet. Wait. You can't... You know her general direction. She's about 110, 120 feet. Yeah, she's fine. You'll need to well, take a uh, bonus action dash. Uh, I don't think I can attack with blinks since I already no, used an action. No, yeah, so blink would be your action. I'm gonna run 60 feet towards where Amaya would be. Nice. You can still use your right. bonus action to dash. Yeah, well, that, that's, yeah, yeah, bonus, yeah bonus, that's, with, that's with the bonus oh, action. Okay. Yeah, as you, run, yeah. as you reach uh, that point, you see her um, fuzzily come into view because you can only see 60 feet away. Mm. All right, so she's 60 feet. Mm -hmm. mm, yep. All right, I can get it to the next turn. All right, let's go. Nice. All right, next up is Iona. What is she gonna? <coughs> what can she do? Mm. Mm. All right, uh, she is going to go and try to cream Lagertha. Well, actually, the first thing she's going to do, she's going to use, well, she's going to use a multi-attack. Mm. What it does, basically, first is she picks one, th uses her godly, and then she uses either godly rescue or mercy. 
And she's going to use Godly Rescue to teleport Alex away from Lagertha and within 30 feet of her. Within 30 feet of Iona. Nice. Okay. Nice. So you are teleported out of a, a very sticky situation. You're still prone, but yeah. you're now 30 feet away from uh, yeah. from Lagertha. Okay. Iona is going to go over and just try to smite her with another hit. Smitey, smite, smite. Come on. A little low for her. Uh, well, I guess that makes up for it. Um, you want to hear the total damage again? Sure. Sure, why not? <laughs> 65 slashing and 49 radiance. Oh, that's so much damage. Yes. Well, actually, the radiant is reduced to 24 due yeah, to the Godbreaker armor, yeah. but still. Man. At least, uh, well, at least she's a different type of barbarian. She doesn't have resistance to, you know, mm. like, yeah. and stuff like that. Which is cool. Right. Next up is Esna's turn. And she is invisible right now. Oh. Wait. Oh, boy. Not to... Me and Beryl. She's out of range of two sides. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's probably she's out probably of like range. Probably staying about like what, 60 or 90 feet yeah, away she, with that she, longbow? She, yeah. Exactly, she's being smart. Yeah. yeah. Well, 150 feet actually. <laughs> Which side? Yep. Yeah, 30 feet. Nope. All right. Oh, hang on. Let me actually check what she can do with that one because she has a magic bow and I want to make sure of what she can do. Oh, no. Let me, let me double check that bow. In before actually arcing archer. <laughs> yeah. No, she's not. She's a ranger. Yeah, she's a normal ah. ranger. Read. <laughs> I my arrows get the five physics. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what she is going to do? Hmm. Um, Alex. Yes. Oh, Alex Savannah. Because mm. Alex is prone, should have disadvantage on this. <clears throat> Um, so you, you uh, uh, Savannah, you hear a whisper in your ear. Mm -hmm. You hear the, you hear in Elvish the words, swift death to you who have wronged me. Oh no, Oath, Oath bow. shit. Shit Right, balls. and she is going to make two attack, actually, you know, what's the action to do? Alright, yeah, she will do that, she will also... Spend a spell slot. And she will cast Lightning Arrow. So when the arrow comes zooming out, you see that it's covered in lightning. Shit. Oh, man. I really wish I had my angels right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> So they well, you 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 got you got your shield guardian. He's there nearby. Okay. So like an eagle when I'm surrounded by turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what is your AC? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Both hit. <laughs> All right. So you take. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let me check. I think I... Because I know you're going to take some extra damage. Hang on. Yep. I'm sorry. This, this is a lot of stuff for me to keep track of. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's yeah, all good, good, man. Yeah, I know. That all right. means a lot of damage is going to be done. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay, so Savannah takes 20 piercing damage from the first attack. Okay. And uh, 15 lightning damage. Piercing, 15, lightning. And are you within 10 feet of anyone? Uh, well, with the shield guardian. You're 10 feet of the shield guardian. Guardian needs to make a dex save. Okay. Let's see. Dexterity save. Hold on. Is the shield guardian near me? Yeah, yes. it's within 30 feet. Okay, so, so he's going to get plus 6. So just roll the dex save and add 6. Yeah. Well, I... Whoa, because oh no, it's not near. No, Viral's dashed, dashed away. Like, Viral's dashed, dashed away. Yeah, so, Viral's yeah. on the ethereal plane. He can't do anything. So there. twenty. So, so twenty. 20. Oh. Let's see what that does against our DC. That's enough. It does mm. not take the lightning damage. The lightning zaps out. Nice. All right, and so because the shield guardian is near me, so the damage is going to be transferred to him. Half. 
Alright. So that will be. I will take 17. I think. Yeah. 17 points. And then he will take 18 points. Total. Right. Uh, the second attack deals a total of 23 piercing damage and 16 lightning damage. 23 piercing and 16, so uh, 38 points total. Mm. Yep. Alright, yep. So you can divide that in half. Yeah, so 15, 19 to him, 19 to me. Alright, got it. Alright. I'm gonna have to. Uh... So many right. arrows! <sighs> <laughs> yep. Uh, as you pull the arrows out of you, though, you notice that uh, they're not made of wood and yeah. stone and metal. Like they normally are. They appear to be made of flesh and blood. Instead of tips, they have little biting mouths. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, when you pull it out, you can see it, like, just like, kind of, nya, 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 nya. Yeah. <gasps> like the Joker box, but it bites. So. It bites. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, you also get the sinking sensation that these arrows might actually be alive. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so gross. Just another unsettling detail. <laughs> right, next up is Freya, the sorcerer. And if you know what sorcerers can do, you should be very much afraid right now. Uh, now we got magic. Yeah. Right, um... She does not have true sets, so she can't do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what she is going to do... Nah, it's fine. No. It's, uh, all right. Um, she is going to cast. She's going to waste a spell, sl a sixth level spell slot, and cast Scatter, mm. targeting Savannah and her Shield Guardian. But she's also going to be targeting a couple. Yeah, Scatter. Okay. You need to make a Wisdom. Sa you and the Guardian need to make a Wisdom saving throw. But um, I'm also pretty sure. And what's the range on that thing? Ah, no, she can't do it on that. She can't do it on Kaz. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Isna is not an unwilling target. So you, uh, you, the Guardian, and Esna are going to be teleported all over the place. I need you and the Guardian to make Wisdom saves. Okay. Uh, wisdom. What? All right, you resist. Yeah. Guardian, wait, is it a plus six? Is it a listening spell or not? Just, just literally make a wisdom check because yeah, it doesn't have. Oh, twenty-five. All right, the guardian resists. Oh. Yes. <sighs> right next up is Kane, who having been Muddling completely in unbelievable. his thoughts, so he yeah, needs to he roll a one d six and minus yeah. all the ability checks and saving throws. Right. Yeah. Eh, he rolled a one. Yes. So I mean, not much. Not much, but I hey, know, still but something it, good. It, it matters every little bit. It matters. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's gonna matter. <laughs> Actually, oh wait, I forget. Um, let me check. You use synaptic static on him, right? Yes. He's muddled in thoughts for one minute, so. No, actually he's not. I just realized, I had forgotten, I even made a note of this to remind myself, but I would forgotten completely. He is protected by Mind Blank. Oh, shit. So you're, he is not muddled in anything. It's like you just hit a wall with synaptic static. So he's, he's immune to psychi psychotic, uh, psychotic, psychic he's, spells. And psychotic spells. Yeah. It, oh boy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so like I mean, I said, we, we, guys... I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't have known. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but uh, any effect that would sense its emotion or read its thoughts, divination spells, and charm condition, it's not none of that above. It's an enchantment, so it would Enchanted still spell. muddle in the thought. It just never took the damage, the psychic damage. Yeah. It's a mind blank, it gives me to psychic death, and results, and the yes. initially targets in mind. Oh, okay. So, he still muddles in his thoughts. It just never he just didn't take any yes. psychic damage. Okay. Right. Uh, All right. What he will do, however, <laughs> is return the favor. Oh, oh, God. Oh, he's going to cast Feeble Mind on you. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, he have to make an intelligence save at the end of its turn, so he can't really do much when he's muddled in his thoughts, right? 
Um, this turn, pressure, but no, it's not what he's gonna do. He's not. He's not a dumb dumb. I know. He knows what this thing could do. He saw Silvana shrug off hmm. his force cage. He's not stupid. Yeah. No, I, I'm not saying he's stupid. It's just the word muddle and its thoughts. It's kind of confusing because there's no condition like it. It does. It doesn't say that he can't take action. Yes. Yeah. So, it's so but the thing is, it says the target can make an intelligent save at the end of each of his turn. If muddle and its thought it doesn't do anything, why would it? I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to. It affects his tackles, his saves, his check, the checks, whatever it says it affects. Mm. Okay. That's what it. That's what happens when he's muddled in his thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Fuck. All right. Um, he can't do that because he's not close enough. And he actually no. He can move within ten feet. He can move a few feet closer. Um. He's going to raise his staff. You see him just shake his staff around it. He casts disintegrate, targeting Silvana. All right. Uh, disintegrate. Oh, fuck. Silvana needs to make a dex save. A six. Dex, right? Okay. Dex, 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 dex. 30. Yep. Alright, he's gonna hit the mention. Okay. okay. So, and he can't be hurt. Alright. Alright, so you just, like, basically step to the side. You watch it blow a hole in the ground next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God yep. for the war! Closer, you notice that uh, his robe appears to have... Uh, his, uh, Grey robe appears to have like veins running through it, mm -hmm. and when he cast a spell from his staff, the staff had like a, a mouth that opened up and it shot the beam from it. Yeah, oh, that's metal as fuck. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like a uh, like like darkest dungeon style mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally get it. Um, right, Alex, you're up. Okay, I Alex would like to get up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, who is the closest enemy that I can reach? Um, like how? Like Lagurf is too far away from me at this point. Unless I can fly sixty feet. All uh, right, yeah, that's a true say. Um, well, you got through one twenty feet. You can see uh, Esna. You can see Esna. You can see Freya. You can see Amaya, and you can see Lagurtha. Okay, so if I can see them, is there any way I can position myself that I can use uh, breath to try and cover at least more than one? Um, Esna and Freya are currently on the edge of your true sight. They're about a hundred. They're about a hundred feet from you. But I could potentially hit both of them, correct? Oh. If you get close enough, yes. yes. Uh, so I could move sixty feet and get them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to use Misty Step. Yeah. Yeah. Go I'll right ahead. Okay, move my 60 feet plus Misty Step. Mm -hmm. And uh, my my eyes glow a little bit more radiant, and my mouth is completely opens up, and just radiant energy shoots out, and a dragon-like breath shoots out in the cone trying to hit both of them. All right, what is the DC? It should be a... Uh, DC would be a uh, 20. Uh, it is a 20 constitution saving throw. This is 20 on behalf of Esna and Freya. All right. Um, <sighs> 20 minus 3. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop using Discord when I'm trying to type into the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, All right. Oh, you'll be happy to know that... Um, Esna failed her save, and Freya got a natural one. So, yes. what's your damage? Okay. Yes. So they take 59 cold damage. Wow, Holy that's pretty good. Shit. And they are both paralyzed. What is this? this nice. Uh, it's just it's just a silver dragon breath. That's what oh, I got. Okay. got I got it from the sword. Yeah. All right. So Esna minus 59. Ooh. And also, she needs to make a con save to keep her lightning arrow going. Okay. Ooh, that's true. Concentration check. Yes, yes. please. Yes, please. Um, let's see, half the 50, what's 58 divided by 2. That would be like 30 or 30 29. Yeah, 29. she may, She is not making that save. All right. Lightning's gone. 
Okay, uh, that's pretty much my turn because I moved, I did my bonus action, I did my action, so I am done. I just stand my ground. All right, hang on. Remember, this doesn't actually make them visible. No, 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 no. but it paralyzes them, yes. which I'm fine yeah. with. Which is cool. They are paral, and they get to make keep repeating the saves. Mm -hmm. All right, next up will be the girth of the Bastion, and does she get a save to avoid being frightened of you? Um, it is according to the book. Uh, sorry. Um, she she's she's uh she's not frightened anymore. It's when they take damage. Uh, they're right. frightened, and if I if they take any damage uh, in this frightened state, it is immediately gone. All right. So she is not going to be able to reach you. So she's going to go after your mother. Mm. <laughs> so time to put that uh, godly regeneration to use. I think. Yeah. That's a hit, okay. And what is... So what is her... Let me see. Godly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, godly is a good way of putting it. Yeah, godly is a good way of putting it, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Alright, uh, so she actually hits attacks twice with her shield and actually hits once. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, and yeah, she has been blessed for the purpose of fighting Yona, so Yona will take the damage. Yeah. Um. Alright. Oh, So I gotta keep scrolling back and forth through this document I made. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> My <Okay. notes. laughs> All right. <clears throat> also, I forgot to do Kane's save. I'll see if he can shrug off your synaptic static. Mm -hmm. Minus one. All right. Minus one. Uh, minus one. Uh, yeah, minus one penalty. What is the DC? Oh, 22. He does not make it. Okay. Yes! Right at the end of Ligurtha's turn, Iona's going to use a legendary action to drop the God Blade. Oh, yeah, yeah, God Blade! Alright. Alright. I should... Ah. Um, holy crap, that's another hit. <laughs> Going down. Yeah, this is... Ooh. Oh, yeah, you guys would... You guys are, should be very lucky you're not... Uh, you're not going up against her. Yeah, I guess I would, uh, We haven't pissed her off yet, thank God. <laughs> well, unless you misbehave. Your mom's no, I'll be, you. I'll be a yeah. good paladin. Thoughts. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't play All with right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just. Yeah. All right. So Iona dishes out a whopping twenty-three radiance and thirty-nine slashing. Okay. She rolled a lot of twos that time. Yeah. All right. Next up is Amaya the Merciful. And while she is in T-Rex form, she can cast any spell she has prepared. Mm. So she... What does that do? Let's double check that. Don't we? <laughs> yeah, I don't have the player's handbook. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Falcon, I thought you knew everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only you, man. Everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. What's the read on that one? That's actually better. Please don't know everything. Just like. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so small details. <laughs> yep. So Maya just lumbering forward, and she casts heal onto Lagertha. <sighs> What's at 78 points? Alright. 
And at the end of that turn, Iona is going to use her legendary action again, her second legendary action to drop the God Blade. All right. On Lagertha, I'm assuming? On Lagertha, yes. Okay. So we should be focusing Lagertha? Seems like a good plan. Um, she doesn't, you know, doesn't really uh, doesn't really care what to focus <laughs> yeah. on. She's like, these are all people that need to be dealt with. Yeah, so let's just... <laughs> all right, so, um, but you don't actually need to focus on Lagertha. When she drops the god blade, she splits Lagertha in half. <gasps> oh, okay. yes. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of disturbing for Sylvana because when like it's when the god blade strikes, like the armor peels off of her face, and you can see the horrified expression before her body splits in two. Well, we'll fix the problem afterwards, <laughs> Sylvana. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. We'll bring it back. Uh, and as you as she goes down, you hear like this. You hear this screaming sound. And you see all the blood just rip out of it, out of Lagertha's body and fly into the central pool. Oh. oh. And Skulzan holds up a finger and says, one. Yes, but I don't like the sight of it. Can I? Yeah. Uh, am I? Well, I'm just wondering. It's your turn. Yeah, I know. It is your turn. No, no, no. I'm not saying I'm doing any action, but... When witnessing this, do I have enough knowledge that if all of them are killed and bloods are drained into the pool, the ritual will be complete? Make an arcana check. Okay. Make an, making an educated <laughs> guess. I'm a little worried. Oh. No, I don't know. Shit. It's a very scary pool of blood. Yes. <laughs> it's a horrifying sight to see someone you knew and loved get sliced down like that. Mm -hmm. Can I rule arcana? No, you have not studied vampires and their rituals. No, okay. Oh, that's I'll right. You know what? That's yeah. fair. Sylvana had that that's vampire fair. maze. And I don't. Ha yeah. I don't even have advantage. All my studies do mm -hmm. to nothing. <laughs> but it's all right. It's all right. Right. Uh, well, yeah. this is such an obscure ritual. <laughs> I know. All right. So well, it's not every day you bring back a god. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Okay. I'm gonna take a few steps back out of uh, Kang's well. Range of counterspell. Yeah. And I'm gonna have the shield guardian grab me and teleport it right next to Kane. Oh shit. How? Dimension door? Yes. <laughs> You're right next to him. Yep. And with that, I'm gonna do. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stand right next to him. And just trying to... So his robe is also magical and his, well, staff is also magical, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take the staff. The staff is literally growing out of his hand. That oh, could be a little tr that's a little difficult. All right, all right. I get... And also, when you get... Now that you're this close, you're able to notice all the disturbing little details. Like, his beard looks almost like you remember it mm -hmm. in real life. But it ends in it, it rise like a bunch of tiny snakes, and each hair ends with a little mouth, little squealing mouth. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm gonna go into melee range and just gonna attack him uh, with the rod. With the rod, probably. Yeah. yeah that's all right. I can't really cast spell because he's. I I would I would just yeah the rod will do good damage yeah. Uh, hang on, uh, let me check dimension door quick. Okay. That's well, an it was, action. You can't well, attack. No, it. no, no. He used the shield guardian. Yeah, shield, the shield guardian, guardian grabs me. Shield then... guardian's action was. Yeah. To oh. Use the okay. Guard. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, um, let's see. Kane will throw up a shield to try to stop you. Reaction. You want to use his reaction to cast shield. But it's twenty-eight. So. Twenty-eight. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, and I okay. have advantage because I have the shield guardian to position itself. It's moving. Yep. <laughs> uh, twenty-one. Hey. Uh, not awesome, but that's something. And second attack. Twenty-six. Check. Uh, the twenty-six does not hit. What the? F All right. Well, he has made his his the buffs he has stacked. Oh. He has his robe of the archmage. Yeah. He has a staff of the magi. Yeah. He has mage armor, and he's just cast shield. 
<laughs> well, mage armor technically doesn't add extra armor because he already has the robe of the arc mage. You can't really. It, it, it turns the ten into well, robe is technically not armor. Yeah, the, I know. it yeah. turns his ten into the normal ten plus whatever into a thirteen. Hmm. Okay, but the robe. So as long as he's not wearing armor, it's basically a plus three to AC. Mm -hmm. Uh. No, actually, that's why I'm confused at first place. So you never see me cast mage armor, right? Because uh, right. the robe of the archmage, uh, the calculation is 15 plus your dex, and then mage armor is 13 plus your dex. So normally, if you have one, you would go for the higher one. It's not automatically add to the AC, or else you will see me abuse this tactic over and over. So mm. yeah. Ah. Technically, he'll be having a minus. Three, like right now, to his current AC, whatever high. All right having. then. Uh, then sorry, I yeah. I miscalculated. Then yeah, uh, twenty six hits. Yeah, because you'll see me abuse this tactic more often <laughs> if yeah. that's the case. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that hits, and I still have a bow with this action. I know it's not gonna work, but I'm kind of gonna cast it. Darkness on myself. On myself. He's already used his action, a reaction to cast shield. So he can't really do anything yep. else. Yes. So he now has disadvantage on scene. Although, yeah, I'm technically right against him, so. Alright. So is that your turn? I'm gonna use my residual movement to walk around him. So, you know, he doesn't right. pinpoint my location. That's it. Right, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, he doesn't have um, his reaction to make opportunity attacks. Okay, yes. so that's your turn. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, if any of you could actually see Duke, you would see a little pile, a little uh, lump in the pile, like moving around. All right. Um, let's see. Kaz. <coughs> what he's gonna do? He cannot see, and he cannot see you, and he's a little too far. Away. He can't see you, Viral, and he is too far. Um. Well, what he's going to do, he's going to use a bonus action to trigger his quivering palm. And I need you to make a constitution save, Savannah. Constitution save. And she's nowhere. Is she anywhere yeah. near? No, she's not. She's she okay. far away. Yeah, from so you, you're, that's no bonuses. Yeah, then. I'm going to reduce the bonuses. Hold on. Uh, just real quick. Wait, he will have this advantage of seeing me because he doesn't know... Where I am. He That's he right. he can trigger the quivering palm. He doesn't need to see you. Oh, do that. He doesn't right. need to Shit. see you. Yeah. Shit <laughs> In the I'm darkness. So dead. Great, you got this. I'm Open so head bunk. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, what? Why is it? Oh, okay. Thirteen. You dropped to zero hit points. <sighs> what? Yeah. Oh, oh that's that awesome. That's actually awesome. Uh, I'm gonna use the uh my ability at this point because uh searing vengeance actually whenever I drop drop to zero hit points I regain half of my maximum hit point and I stand. Right. Oh no, I need to make a death save at the point at the start. Of point. Yeah. So yeah, don't worry about it. Right. I dropped to zero hit point and the spell ended. Just. And I'm looking at Syrian Vengeance to you. Yeah, it needs to be on my turn. turn. So. But it really needs to be on your turn. Yeah. yeah. And each creature of your choice needs to be blind, make a taste radiant damage and is blinded. Yeah, but uh, it needs to be on my turn. It's not my turn yet. Alright, yeah, so on your next turn, you can blind Kane. Yeah. And I just realized. Uh, and then that Kaz is going to go. Yeah. Alright, after that, Kaz will go dashing up to Alex. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Viral! All right, you that's. Can... I'm gonna preoccupy Amaya so she won't be able to heal anymore. I'm gonna run 30 feet, dash for my bonus action, then jump out of etherealness and attack her. Oh, All righty. Nice. Please. Do All right. Uh, you got this. Girl. You got her. Yeah. So these guys are not technically gods, so Audi won't be able to zap them. Yeah. But still, good damage. Good It'll still too. damage her. All right, um, All right. let's do, 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 where's that? Ah, there we go. All right, you hit her twice. All right. And then I'm going to roll for sneak attack. I want to get her down as much as possible, so I will cast uh, Divine Smite twice. Yes. All right. Nice. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Ooh. Dang, you didn't take a down, but holy crap. Good damage. Yeah, that's... 
above average. That's amazing. All right, hang on. Um, you have almost taken down her T-Rex form. Just oh my crap, god, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, do I have to roll a one d twenty to see if I back up back uh go back to the ethereal plane? Yes. Please do it. Come on, above above eleven. No. You stay. Oh, no. Yeah, you see the T-Rex okay. licking its chops. Oh no. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Uh, first is Iona. Now what she is going to do, she's actually going to instead of her move action, she's going to teleport up into the up right next to the T-Rex. Yes, please. Hit it. All right. And what she will do, and now that she's there, um. No, no one's visible. Um, she's going to do. She is going to cast. She's going to use. She's going to use mercy. Um, so all of you, because she can technically see all of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, regain are cured of all conditions and regain fifty hit points. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm up to two o two. I'm two fifty. And then she's going to spring the god blade down. Yes, please. <laughs> Who would have thought one of her her lowest rolls are able to hit, hit even you guys? <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Ha 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 ha. All right. Uh, well, uh, good news is, um, this is actually going to drop her uh, drop of Maya out of her T Rex form. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. All right. All right. Let me see here. So I would bring it right there, and she would take the extra. Minus. Okay. Um, what happens? Uh, did, would you like to hear the damage again? Yes, sure. please. All right. She took uh, 55 slashing and 58 radiant. Nice. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> All right. So Amaya is just like bleh. she's currently hacking up blood right now. All right, and uh, next up is Esna. And now that Esna has seen what uh, this god can do, she realizes that they, she needs to pull her crap together. Mm -hmm. So she's going to drop her lightning blade. Hmm. Or, or lightning arrows, I mean. Yeah, figured. Uh, she will cast Swift Quiver. Actually, no, she can't use Swift Quiver because it's non magical and that won't hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Sweet victory. What she is going to do. Crap, she's got like nothing she can do. <laughs> uh, actually, no, she's. She can't use that either. So, so she's going to do is, uh, you should don't see what she does. She's invisible now. So she casts her spell and just waits. And yeah. so this Freya, uh, who realizes that this crap needs to be, this crap with Savannah needs to be handled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and she, let me see exactly what the sorcerers can do. By the way, I would like to thank Robin for creating such powerful enemies for you to fight. <laughs> no problem. Uh, like, it's all coming back. Yeah, all all right. Karma's a bitch. So we all got right, one. Use we got one. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, Frey is going to use Quicken Spell to bonus action cast Dispel Magic on Savannah's Darkness. Oh, uh, sorry. I kind of. Uh, that's why I'll try to clarify that. I already used two attacks, so I, technically I wouldn't be able to use darkness. So, mm. yeah. So darkness would already be gone. Yeah, dark, right, so there's darkness no is, darkness yeah. to begin with. So well, like, there was no darkness to begin yeah, with. Yeah, I can't right. really um, cast it, so... My then in that case, my fault. Um, she will use twin spell. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. And uh, dual cast disintegrate onto Sylvana. Oh Jesus! On the same person? Oh, yes. Damn. I'm gonna try counter spell that. 
Or no Is she in 60 feet? Mm. Let me check what this... This thing is like... Actually, feet. let me go to the range. Yeah, she would be within 60 feet. So you need to, you need to counterspell that yeah, real bad, because you're going to turn to dust if that I hits you. I am doing it, so counterspell. Ninth level, So right? it's, it's a charisma check. Yeah, Are so you? Oh, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. If you if you do it if you do it at ninth level, then it would just be gone. It wouldn't. No, it, you wouldn't no, need, wouldn't need uh, to make like, a check. It's only like third level and below. That's the part where counterspell is weird, because you no, when you upcast it, it doesn't do anything else. Yeah. All right. Oh, so actually, um, it does. Like I was I was gonna say, what are you talking about? That's one of the biggest moments in Critical Role yeah. is a ninth level counterspell. <laughs> So I would say cast it at ninth level and save yourself right now. I can't she can't cast it at ninth level. Her spell slots only go up to fifth. Yeah. The oh, well, high, how high fifth. can you cast it? Fifth. Fifth? Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'll cast it and then, you know, roll a charisma check. Yeah, then uh, charisma slots. What's the save DC, though? I'm just checking. It's probably going to be like seven or it's... 17. All right, let's do it. It's going to be high. Let's, let's just say do that. It. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Dexterity save. I have 18. advantage 24 because of my rope. All right, 24. Um, yeah, you are able to counter spell. Yes, sweet Jesus. It's like snap. Out of my All face, right. y'all. Out of my face. <laughs> oh, All right, no, at the end of Freya's turn. Actually, sorry. Yeah, that's about to say. Save. I rolled a deck save. I didn't use oh, counter spell. It's like I just All right, well, dodged. it's twin cast, so you have to roll another deck save. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, you didn't cast oh, counter spell then. Yeah. Then make another deck save. But you yeah. you did you did it once. You could probably do it again. Come on. Come on. Twenty one. Check what her DC is. Just spam that X. You still have stamina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just keep dodge. Dodge roll. Right. Dodge roll. Well, to uh, quote Piccolo, you dodge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Because I just realized with counterspell, Kane will easily counterspell my counterspell. He's right. Yeah, he truly he might not have counterspelled, but yeah. whatever. He, he has no reaction. Remember? He mm. he has reaction. He hasn't used it. He used shield. No, he it's did. Like he last shield. turn. Last turn. Like oh. This turn, he already it's already past the turn. So this turn, well, he can. Well, at the end of your turn. Shit. Um, Iona will use her legendary action to try to take out... Yeah, I'm Amaya, Amaya. come on! Please! You can't have this druid live! Yeah, <laughs> just end it. She's basically gonna turn into another T-Rex, damn it! Yeah, yeah. shape change. Yep. Shape Too many change. shape changes. Yeah. Alright, and uh, this time she stabs Iona and just impales her on the sword. Oh. Okay. Before just like flicking it, flicking her body off. Stabs on my right. You, you were saying. Yeah, my like, She stabs right the right owner. She stabs no. yourself. <laughs> no, <laughs> mom, why? <laughs> Would be like All right, so Amaya is down. She took a oh. crap ton of damage from that. She took 59 slashing and 43 radiant. Like, it's all, all above right. 100. It's amazing. Yes. Yep. And as she goes down. Um, blood. her face ex rips open and the blood rips out of her face and goes flying into the central pool. Mm. And Skullzan just holds up a second finger, he says, two. Can I check Skullzan's surroundings? Is he uh, he's standing on a dais, he's got a, he's surrounded by a force field. Yeah, a um, cage, right? The force field was, uh, was generated such that he can't be gated out by Audi, and Audi can't get in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he can also can't do anything through it. Yeah. Can I make an insight check if this is what Gozan wants? Yeah, me too. I was gonna yeah. Yeah, make an insight check. Come on. Can can I well okay there. Uh, Bill's got it. Can't really yeah, this is something that he wants. Alright, okay. I would, yeah, that I means would, okay. Uh I was gonna say we should leave at least one alive, mm -hmm. I think. Alright, not we can uh, we can uh, dictate non-lethal damage. True. You could. All right, all right, that's my plan. Yeah, as you okay. guys are, as you guys realize, crap, we need to do so as the feral shots. Non-lethal damage. Non-lethal damage. <laughs> Skulls and destruction says, doesn't matter. You'll do just as fine. Oh. <laughs> Next up is Kane. 
And Kane has really nothing in the tank for this. Thank God! Uh, he doesn't have anything. That's the best news I've heard the whole day. Let me see, because if he does. Actually, no, you counterspelled. No, you didn't counterspell, so he can't do that. Yeah, I um, don't want to counterspell because. The actually, well, he, he will uh, He will cast Thunderstep to get out of there. Oh, I mm. cast Counterspell. And he's probably gonna cast counter counter spell. Yeah, he uh, counters it at a higher, at a seventh level. So, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Uh, so no, I'm cast... just, I'm just thinking counterspell will probably do shit. So I don't do it because I knew he's. Now thunderstep. He's casting at his lowest level. I know. Yeah. So I just let him, I guess. So he just uh, teleports away. But um, thunderstep also deals damage, right? Because that's what. To I'm you. Doing. Yes. Make a con save. Yep. Mm, and the shield guardian as well. Yep. <laughs> thank God it's not the important moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, Alright, so uh, great, like great to say for the guardian, you take... Okay, you and the guardian take 24 thunder damage. 24. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna transfer 12 to the guardian. So, he takes 36, I take 12. Uh, minus... 71. Uh, All right. Um, Alexander, what do you do? Okay. Let's see. Who is up? Who is near me that I can attempt to swipe at? Let me check you. Um, Freya? Let me, let me or, um, yeah, you can. You got your choice now of uh, Freya and e Esna and Kellen's ex. Yeah. Mmm, I'll go for Freya. Oh, I'll go for wait a Freya. second. Sorry, guys. What? Uh, I what? haven't go through my turn yet. Let me check. What, what? It's your, no, your turn is you're after Alex. But uh, that's the thing. Uh, Kane. Oh, right. Yeah. My no, yeah, yeah. Initiative twenty one. We haven't right. gotten to you yeah. yet. Sorry. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll go for Freya. Yeah, I'll do that. Please do it. All right. And. uh... Is, oh yeah, Freya. She has. She hasn't been scared by me yet at this point. She has not. No. So she needs to make a wisdom saving throw or be scared. Please, please. So what is her wisdom? Something I don't remember. She makes it with a twenty-seven. Ah, okay. Perfect. I'll make my way through, uh, and I'm still going to take two swings, and um, I'm going to cast Banishing Smite on my sword again. All right. Um, so you cast Banishing Smite, and you swing away. First swing. 24. 24 is a hit. Okay. Yes. Okay, and then five more D8. Uh, sorry, five D10. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, and then I'll do my second swing. Hang on. Do it. Hang on. Let me check here. Minus 20. <laughs> All right. Um, you kill her and you banish the body somewhere else. Yes. Ah, so, yes, that's true. <laughs> so the blood does not rip out of it. <sighs> okay. Yeah, there that's we nice. go. That's, so that's, that's nice. That's, that's good. Yes. Okay. That's, that's right. Sweet. Yeah, okay. so you can move up to Esna if you like. All right, I'll move up to Esna and I'll take a swing. Did 27 hit? 27 is a hit, yeah. Yes, please. Okay. All the extra. All right, hang on. Yeah. Right, uh, hang on, let me. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I also have a lot of stuff to keep track of here. Yeah. Yeah. Minus two, minus 10, minus seven. And uh, Esna is now banished. Esna's banished too, so that's yes. two down. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's my turn. All right, that will be my friends there for one minute until the spell ends. All right, Savannah. Uh, all right. Uh, so he use. I know Kane is going to be a huge problem, so I'm going to chase after him. He's. Uh, I think Thunder... 90 feet away from you. Wait, Thunderstep? I thought it was 30 feet. Yeah. Okay, let me check. Thunderstep is 90 feet. Oh, 90 feet. that's so far away. All right. 
Thunder. Yes. Yeah, that's so far away. Uh, so far. Which, I imagine like Savannah just like looking with big anime eyes like he's so far away. So far away. <laughs> so far away. Uh, but, which is good because uh, um, I'm going to cast shit. I can't. There's a lot of spells I can't cast. Which means... Currently, Duke, Kane, and Kaz are the only ones standing. Yeah, I know. Right, it has, been ban and has not been banished. We, we should save Duke for last. Just, yeah. just, as just for shits and giggles, <laughs> yeah. I know. Just for shits and giggles. Yeah, yeah, but at this moment, I can't really reach anyone without getting hit by counterspell. So... Mm. I'm just gonna do an old fashioned fireball because Kane, centering Kane and his comrades, so I believe that's gonna hit someone else. You only hit Kane, but he's basically all you need to hit. Yep. Yeah, uh, so I would do yeah, that. Yeah, that's fireball. fine. Yeah, I'm gonna do a fireball at fifth level. Just hit him with uh, all I got. Let me see what he's got. Is he is not stupid. He is. You know, he's got the robe. Oh! No, he cast Absorb Elements. Ah, uh, so he's gonna take a little less damage. Yeah, I know. Like the robe already provides advantage on saving throws, and then yeah, but I mean, like yeah. he's just—he's just basically reducing it yeah. by half. Then... But he's still taking damage, which is more important. All right, he is going to resistance. Yeah. Some fire damage with this. Oh, he still needs to make a uh, saving throw. Did he make it? The synaptic. Because he never really continues. Yes, he made it. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's making sure. Alright, um, and he makes his save against that as well. Okay, cool. And so, Mr. Fireball. So, just, uh, 30, uh, 33 reduced by, like, my, like, uh, He takes 8 yeah, points of fire damage. Eight, probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he takes 8 points. He takes eight points. <laughs> it's like, super slim mm. fire damage. Yeah, All right, I'm so gonna then. use my bonus action to heal myself with my ability because I'm near the brink of death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't want another disintegrate flying towards yeah, you. Yeah, another one. I'm gonna die. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, plus six to the fire because I have the radiant soul uh, ability. Just saying, I, I never really put it in, so just yeah. plus another six. But that's it. Uh, so, alright. Uh, I'm gonna roll for 66. Roll 66. Six. Alright, uh, 18. Okay. And then the shield guardian is gonna recover, and then. The well, shield guardian is gonna try to flank someone. He can't reach anyone. Oh, okay. With all of his movement, like 60 feet? Mm. Even that? Okay. Uh, can he move towards anyone? Like, just general direction? Yeah, he can. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm not going to let him move because it's like, it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, get the bonus to AC then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, that makes that's sense. It. That's it. The show guardian is going right. to ready his action. If anyone comes close, he's going to try to dodge. Well, try to defend. Try to punch. Him. Yeah, try to punch. Him. Right. Uh, next up would be Duke. Who makes his way towards you guys and pops out to attack Viral? Oh, Viral sees oh. it the whole time, so. Yeah, Viral sees it. He's not gonna get advantage on us. But as he pops out, you do hear him shout. You do hear him say, Top of the morning, yeah! yeah. yeah. I knew it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so. Let me see what he can do here. So he gets. How many attacks does he get? Four short, short attacks. Oh, God. What is your AC? 23, but he has a uh, disadvantage because of protection from evil and good. Right, so... We still have... You know what? I'm going to have to... <sighs> this is going to be annoying. Hang on, I'm going to have to re-roll that now. <laughs> yes! Uh... Huh. Alright, right, so... Miss... Miss... Hit and notes 23, you said? Yep. And hit. Alright, so two hit? Two hits. Mm, Alright, yeah. and one of the misses, I'm going to use my superiority dice from Martial Adept. 
and do a repost. Yes. All right. right. Nice. So, so you... I have advantage because of Sentinel and yeah. All right. The first thing he does is okay. Um. So what's the damage? Let's we'll see what you do first before I tell you what he does. All too. right. And then I roll one d six because of the superiority die, yeah. and then I'm gonna roll sneak attack. Yes. Nice. Oh. Uh, if he's gonna hurt me, I might as well hurt him. Yeah. And then mm. I'll ca and then I'll cast one divine smite. Nice. Naz. Sixty-four total. All right. Um. So what Duke does is he jumps up, he stabs you with his short sword, and then he bites you on the neck. Oh no! Uh, shit. All right. Hey, is it contagious? It might be. Shit. All right. So you take um, you take ten piercing damage. All right. And fourteen necrotic damage, and while you and fortunately Yona is nearby, so your hit points are reduced. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so he does regain the necrotic damage that he dealt you. So how many damage total? Um, total is twenty-four. Alright, so my hit point has been reduced to ninety-two, or it. I, you are not. Your hit points are not reduced. Yeah. Your hit points are reduced okay. because of Yona's aura. Yeah, presence. All right. All right. Next, all right. All right. That's Duke's turn. Next up, Kaz is going to go sprinting up to Vero and try to hit him. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Vero, you got this. <laughs> all right. And let's see how much daggers he can hit, or whatever. <laughs> he's not going to. He's not throwing daggers at you. He's throwing punches. <laughs> Even better. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Go. See, uh, hit, miss, hit, miss. All right. So first thing you do, you need to make a twenty strength save. He's trying to smack out of the altar out of your hand. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> now that's something I wasn't oh. prepared for. Oh no! Yes! Wow! Yes. Nice. All right. Uh, you also take eleven bludgeoning damage from that first hit. The second hit does eleven, eight bludgeoning right. damage. And he uses his quivering palm. Yes. Oh, All right. So what's my what's the saving throw I have to make? You don't have to make it yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's he later. Oh, he triggers it whenever he wants you. Whenever it's he wants to. It's kill Bill. Yeah. It's kill Bill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's kill Bill. <laughs> so All right. And speaking of, it is your turn, Carol. All right. Uh. Ha. Huh. I'm in a 2v1 situation. It would yeah, be fair, uh, except uh, that they're going up against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, how well is Duke looking? Um, Of the two, Duke looks like he's doing better. Duke is doing better. All right, then I'll finish off Kaz if I can. All right, make your attack. All right, come on. Uh, Hold on. Adviator, let's go. Yes. Ah, the free two hits. Okay. Yes. Okay, nice. So Seek attack. <laughs> and then finish off with two divine smite. All by yourself. <laughs> Alright, um you kill Kaz. Yes. Not really good, but at least someone. Yeah. I yeah, mean, we we we've, just... we've cleared some non-lethally. Yeah, he just he slumps over, and like uh, the others, the blood just is torn out of. Uh, this time, it tears out of his back, mm -hmm. and it enters the pool. Oh, damn it! <clears throat> and uh, Skull's answers. I'd like to thank you. The original plan was to kill you three and uh, use you to complete the ritual, but with that, but well. Those three would do just fine. God damn it, I thought Those it was more three? than that. Ah, ah. And then the pool starts to bubble. The pool starts to bubble like a cauldron, and he just holds out his hand and he says, Behold, the vampire god rises once more. Oh, boy. Shit. And you see, rising out of the pool is this 15-foot-tall humanoid. Um, it's, uh, it's a male. It's completely naked. It's got white skin and hair. Uh, but as it rises, you realize that there's something wrong. 
Like it doesn't, it's not whole. Um, for example, its arms have been severed at the elbow mm -hmm. and like hovering just above the stumps are prosthetics made out of blood. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, he's also bleeding out of his eyes, nose and mouth. He's got multiple bite wounds all over him. Like, uh, like a dragon or something bit him. Yeah. <laughs> like a dragon. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And actually, uh, no, that's no. Uh, what else does he have? Um, yeah, he's also got like blood, just like straight, like a crimson mist coming out of his nose and his mouth. As he stands, he doesn't speak eloquently or anything you expect a god to. He just starts screaming in agony. Nice. It's time to add him to the initiative order. Music to my ears. The scream. And he will actually go before Viral, but after everyone else, believe it or not. So he rolled relatively oh, wait. low. I'll, yes. roll, I'll roll a 1d20 to see if I go back to the ethereal plane, by the way. Yeah. All right, yeah, go right ahead. Yes. Nice. Right, he also rolled an, just so you know, he rolled an 11 for his initiative. Nice. Mm. All right, so next up is Iona. And she is going to point at the monster, at the vampire guy, and she's going to say, Beryl, you know what to do. Yeah. Well, I can't really say anything. I'm in the ethereal yeah. plane, but I, I can say gotcha either. Oh, yeah, I can hear, but can she and hear And she me? can see and hear you. Yeah, oh, all right. I say, I yeah, I, I'll, I just say on it. Oh, all right. Uh, who needs just, healing? Me. Uh, I'm at the brink right. of death. Right. Um, <laughs> Actually, it doesn't really matter because she doesn't need to choose. Um, I know. Alexander and she uses mercy. So Alexander and Silvana both regain 50 hit points. Yeah. Okay, I'm at full, but that's fine. I'm All right. Still at uh, full, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then she drops the god blade onto Duke. Oh. Bye, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Duke. Yeah. Top two in the morning, do we, laddie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please let that be the last thing yeah. Viral says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. <clears throat> uh, let me see. What does that do? Take minus. minus. What, oh, that's not what I wanted here. Minus. Oh crap! That almost killed him. Oh no! <laughs> Seriously, almost. He took 64 slashing and 50 radiance. Whoa! <laughs> Esna can't do anything because she has been banished. Yes. Yep. Um, actually, she can make a save to try to shut down her par paralysis. Her turn, right? Yeah, what's. Uh, D20. Constitution. 20 con. Alright, she doesn't make it. Next up is. Pain. And he is going to cast. He's going to move in and cast ninth level disintegrate. Oh God! On, me again. on the guardian. On Silvana. On Silvana's guardian, yes. Oh, on the guardian. Oh, oh, shit. oh no! Guardian. Oh, guardian. Guardian. So long. oh, the guardian's gonna die. Make a spell. dexterity save for the guardian, please. No! So. I'm gonna use counter spell to counter that. All right, when you use counter spell. Uh, what he does is he doesn't use counter spell. He instead holds up his staff of the magi and absorbs your counter spell into it. Oh. Okay. So. So you're so you, you shoot like yeah. a beam of blue energy to counter his green, and then he holds up his staff, and the, your blue beam is redirected towards his staff and gets sucked into the mouth of the staff. Shit. So right. the as staff. As long against, as the shield guardian is alive. The shield guardian is probably not gonna make it. Uh. All right. Uh, dexterity, you said. Right. Dexterity said Is yes. he near? Is he oh, near me? No, no he's not. Nope. Uh, he no. Yep. Uh, there he goes. All right. Let's see how much damage he takes. See. That's nine. Oh my god. No, I he's think... been with us for so long. He's yeah. been with us for like sixty plus sessions. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh no. He doesn't level up. He's been with us for so long. All right. He, he takes. Would you like to? Here's the, the, he takes 118 points of damage. What's this max uh, health? Uh, hold on, let me just check. Uh, the huge reward. I'll grab the 
force tank cube portion of it. Uh, a magic item. Oh! A magic item is unaffected by this spell. It's a creature. It's a creature still. It's still going to take the damage. The concept, the unless, damage. Unless it says it has it like resistance to this magic. No, no, definitely not. No. no. So, <laughs> what happens? No, it's gone. Uh, oh, it's yeah, gone. she is gone and is blown to dust. <sighs> no! <laughs> Alex looks back in horror. Let me yes. <laughs> No, it's yeah. not a creature, it's a construct. So it's that's it's still thing. technically a construct. I'm just checking. I'm just doing the check. Uh, and it, since it's a large creature, it only re disintegrates 10 foot proportion. I'm really confused because technically it's a construct. It's large, it's not huge. It's it, it it's 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 still a disintegrate spell and it's a ninth level, All so right. I mean yeah. Yeah. Ignore, ignore me, he's gone. He's like Poof. Yep. No, no. I just died no down. words from Alex. Yeah, uh, just like the like the, that one staple of your party is gone. <laughs> mm. By the way, it's your turn, Alex. What do you do? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Um who's left? <laughs> Other than oh, the god. Well, first we have an angry vampire god. Yeah. Um, Kaz is still alive. Duke is barely alive. Wait, Kane Kaz is, alive. is still alive. Kaz is still alive? Yeah. Huh? Kaz, I thought they... Oh, wait, sorry, no, you shot. killed Kaz, sorry. Yeah, I Kaz did not update that. So let's see here. Uh, Duke is alive. Esna is banished. Kane is alive. And there's an angry vampire god rising out of the middle of okay. the, block, the, middle um, of the room. I'm Someone has to handle Kane. Uh, I've got an idea. I want to know the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Um, what is the range of that spell? Can I get within 30 feet of Kaz and uh, Duke? Yes, you can. Okay, Kaz I fly is dead. over. Yeah, Kaz sorry? Is, Kaz yeah. is already... Kane and Duke. Oh, yeah, sorry, Duke. Okay, yeah. so where, where's Kane, by the way? Kane is about 100 feet away from you. Okay, I'll pool. go... He's there's an angry go vampire god between you and him. Okay, that's that would be a huge waste if it, just for one. Um, all right, I'll go over to Duke. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, Alexander, do you, are you using a concentration spell right now? Yes, I'm using a concentration spell. Because if you can cast haste on me, I can make four attacks with Audiviator in one go. Yeah, I'm waiting. If I You're if in I the get ethereal plane. He couldn't do it if you wanted to. Oh yeah, to. damn it! I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, Why do I we will... keep shooting ourselves in the foot like this? <laughs> I will attempt to whack him unconscious using non. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try non-lethal damage. Try and hit him. Oh, he he needs to see if he's afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> he better be. He better be. <laughs> What's your DC? Twenty. Duke fears nothing. Yeah. Real? Oh God damn it! All right, I will <laughs> whack just, him. He, he just gives you this, his inhumanly large grin. And he says, "Top of the morning, to you, laddie. Uh, Come and get some." Oh, I'll give you something to think about, and a whack him. So you're going for non-lethal? You said non-lethal. Right. Uh, that's a hit. And he is non-lethally downed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like, "Oh, why?" Shite! This is not what I expected! <laughs> oh, it goes down. Alright. And, uh... Well, that was my action, and there's no one else I can hit. <laughs> um... I guess, yeah, I guess at this point I'm just going to, uh... Well, I moved, I, I move. if I have any other movement, I'm gonna start going towards, uh, Kane. Alright, you start making your way around the pool. Savannah. Yeah. Can't really do much. Uh, Your best friend was just killed. Get revengeance, vengeance, uh, vengeance. I'm actually, <laughs> thinking, I'm actually mine. thinking something. So when I look at the pool, uh, the blood is like fixing, like it's aiding the vampire god, right? At this point, it's more like it's giving him a prosthesis. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's forming something for him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they are being pulled together, right? Uh, pulled to his Oh, body. it's not even really pulling together. It's just like uh, hovering. 
Okay. But it's there's still like a large sum. You can sum. see the gap. There, there's still a large and, sum underneath, right? Oh yeah, there's still a large, large puddle. It only comes up to his knees. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast Demi Plane and open up a portal underneath the Vampire God's pool. All right. So that all the blood got drained. Would it would it drain? That's interesting. You hear this flushing sound it's like a toilet. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Where yes. are you draining it though? Uh, it's just, like, it's just another well. plane that he can't use. Like, well, because they because they could actually debuff him or weaken him. Yeah, okay, know. that's a good idea. I'm, yeah, meanwhile, I was just, I was just considering gonna uh, demi plane it into your into no, your no, fortress not, or not, something. I, I can't choose to create a new one. Or okay, okay. My own, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was so gonna say like it goes into your fortress. Like, yeah, Archimedes is like, what the hell is yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> the whole blood just flooded. It's, yes. it's, it's like that scene from uh, uh, The Shining. Just yeah. the doors <laughs> open and blood goes shooting out. <laughs> yeah, that's. The creepiest hell yeah, no, it goes, it drains in there, um, but then it stops. It starts down. It comes down about half, about the fourth of the way down his knees, and then stops. Oh uh, well, okay. the portal is still open. Uh, yeah, it's open. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna use my well, my movement because I already used my action to get closer to Cain. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. Oh, oh, actually, I'm gonna use my bonus action to heal myself. Yeah, heal myself. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, good call. Ah, bonus action. Slash rule. 66. 16, yeah. Uh, 16. All right, so that's your turn. Yep, that's my turn. Duke is taking a nap. Yep, he's taking a nap. Uh, the vampire god. Yes, I hear Dex to... me. Yeah, he does. Damn it! <laughs> he, he is going to reach down and attempt to grab Savannah. Well, oh my god, well, Savannah! Wait, he's 50 feet away from me. How is sorry, I'm not, uh, sorry, not Savannah. Um, Vera is going to move closer. I'm yeah, in the ethereal Oh no, he can grab me there! Oh my god! No, not, sorry, not. I remember Vera's in the ethereal plane. He's yeah, going so over that... to. He's so... sloshing through the blood over to Savannah. And he reaches down to grab her, except it doesn't work. It's not solid, it's blood. Yeah. It just happens to be held in the shape of his hand. Yeah. Sure. So basically, Savannah's just getting splashed with blood. Well, can I try... And... I, I know this is uh, awkward, but can I try to make a deck save to avoid being splashed on? <laughs> just, just so you stay <laughs> yeah, clean. <laughs> yeah, Oh uh, Yeah, make a deck save with disadvantage. Uh, well, yeah. 12. 12. You are covered one. in red. It's like after <laughs> hacking your way through a mob in Bloodborne. Oh. <laughs> yep. I like your nose is completely clogged with the iron with the iron scent of blood. Uh, we'll clean you realize... later, Savannah. Don't worry. Don't... I'll help. I'll help. I was worried. Yeah, what you realize is that else. um yeah. is that his he might have scary looking prostheses made of blood, but they are completely useless. Okay. Which is good. Which is good. Yeah, he just like you see he just throws back his head and just screams. What's up this? ear-shattering scream. Mm -hmm. And then he turns to Duke, and he just holds out his hands. Oh, God. And extracts the blood out of Duke. Oh! So... Yeah, wait a second! Is... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Wait a second, if I had knocked Duke with... Even though Banishing Smite is still on... Oh, it's on. All right, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I, so yeah Duke should, should have been banished. gone. Yeah. yeah, Duke is gone, so he can't extract it from Duke. Oh, thank God. Oh, He's going to extract it from Kane. From Kane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. And when oh. I say extract it from Kane, Kane I mean, nice. I mean, literally just nice. rip him open, <laughs> rip the front of him open, yeah, and pull it out. Yeah, he's the greatest like target we've been. He's the greatest for. target yeah, at the yeah, moment. Like, we've yeah. been trying to defeat, which is good. Going. Yep. Okay. And he just rips out. He just rips the blood out of Kane. And when he does, like uh, his, you notice that the wound, his wounds start to close up. Yeah, but the thing is, the pool has been drained for a little bit. It's not drained completely. Yeah, not I know. Completely. There's still like a heal. High I, I also feel that he's blood. in a slightly weakened state because he's just been reborn. Yeah. So this yeah. is the best opportunity yeah. to fight him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you see him. He just he closes his eyes and when he opens them again. You notice that the prosthesis he had for his eyes 
are growing back. Are gone and they've been yeah. replaced by his real eyes now. Yeah. It seems slightly more calmer now mm -hmm. and less like he's in less pain. Vero, what do you do? All right, uh, can I try to do Shadow of Colossus style and try to climb up this thing while stabbing him at the same time? Absolutely, <laughs> dude. All right, like I did, like I stab Olivia out there like twice trying to get up. Yeah. All right, let's go. Nice. Both hits. Do I, is it gonna be like the a fixed damage or fixed is it, damage? All right, all right. So it doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's, like you, it's like in Shadow of the Colossus if you were to stab him in the, in the weak points. <laughs> yeah, you got a certain percentage. <laughs> it takes off a percentage. That's what happens. So you just All like, right. <laughs> and as you do, um, you notice that there's this brilliant flash of light when you stab him. Ooh. Yes. He just, and Audi turns actually briefly turns red. That turns like a reddish gold color as it sucks out his divine essence and devours it. Oh, wow. Yeah. He actually eats it? Nice. Yeah, Audi takes it and utterly destroys it. Nice. It prevents right. discorporation. It's meant to kill a god. It is meant to kill a god. I just right. didn't think I'm gonna that see if I get a... back to the ethereal yeah. plane after that. <laughs> yeah, see if you do. Roll 1d20, please. Do it, do it, Viral. I'm, I'm lagging, I think. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 there we go, you hey. are, you banish back to the ethereal plane as he reaches around to try to grab you. Nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, next is Iona. Who moves in to finish this, to try to finish it. Swing in a hit. Come on, Come on mother. You've got this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's got this. Mm -hmm. Like she just goes up to him and decapitates him. What? That's it? <sighs> well, yep. It, it didn't seem like it had a whole lot because it just just got reborn. Yeah. And I think yeah. the fact, I think the fact that less people have been killed and banished mm -hmm. helps with that. Yeah. Uh, just want to roll a quick insight on uh the the lich. Sorry. What's his name again? All right. Uh, Skullzan. Yeah, Skullzan. To make sure this is not some kind of trick. Is he smiling or whatever? No, he's not. He looks. He looks angry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah. not a trick. Is it, no. Is what happens trick? though is uh, as he goes down, as the vampire guy goes down, his body, the blood prosthesis vanish, but his body turns into blood, and it flies up into Skullzan. What? No. There's no possible way. I have a dimension dimipling just right underneath him. Um, well, what you think, uh, I'll show that you make an arcana check, Savannah. I think it's more of a spell thing. Arcana check! 18. That's, that's good. All right, um, you think the vampire god is using his greatest servant to make, to try to re rebirth himself. No. Uh, he, he, he kills, him. he kills Skullzan. He's going to kill Skullzan in order to fuel his own rebirth. All right. All right. So now the real fight starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not really. Viral can just stab him again. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Skullzan, you idiot duck. Yeah. Yeah. You're just uh, shouting like, Skullzan, get, get out of the yeah, way. Yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> it's so oh, he can't bitch. because of the barrier. <laughs> but yeah, the blood flies in through the barrier and into through his eyes, nose, and mouth. Oh. And right as the barrier falls, he is violently transformed into the vampire god. He even break through. Same thing, the except there's no, yeah. except there's no uh, bleeding wounds. There's no prostheses. Well, so he's just... technically, Skolzan is a pile of bones. So mm. you know, he's a lich. So technically, but you know what? It's life force is life force, wherever it comes from. Yep, I know. I just pull out my sword and I Yeah, he just yeah, you see the vampire guy just looking at his uh, new body at his body again. And now that's completely whole he looks back at you and gives his wolfish grin again. And Alexander, it's your turn. New body I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge. Alright, he is about hundred and fifty feet away. Of do? course. I love I love how you had all three phases. That's amazing. Yep. What do you do? I love it. Okay, um, what do I do? Mm. 
Uh, well, I'm gonna have to use all of my movement. Uh, can I? So he's 120 feet away from me, or something. 150. Like 150. All right. I'm going to move 90. I'm going to do another misty step. Just flying forward, turning into silver smoke, and popping even further. Just charging in with my sword drawn at the. Uh, at the just table. looking like a hard ass. Yeah. Just, just pure intent to finish this. And that's my turn. All right. Um. Okay. I like that. Um. All right. So at the end of your turn. The vampire guide uses he uses one of Skull's Island's legendary actions. Yep, if he uses, he is going to use Believer. What? Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, he's got three legendary actions. They were called yep. Follower, Disciple, and Believer. Yeah. Okay. So every living creature that he sees must make a Constitution saving throw. This includes Viral. Oh god. Even in the ethereal plane. Alright. Even in the ethereal plane. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna use luck. Oh, by the uh, way, uh... Yeah! 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 yeah. Come on, oh. Constitution saves from everyone else. Luck. No. Is this magic based? It is. Yes, right. it is. Alright, so that would be 22 plus 6, so 28. 13. I don't know if I got plus 6, though. I don't think so. I think you're out of my range because yeah. I moved 90. Yeah, you are out. Um, so that means... Savannah is going to take a crap ton of damage. Oh, God. This is, really, this is a really rough fight for you. <laughs> All right, Savannah so takes 56 necrotic damage. You can't really do anything. 56, so 100 minus yes. 44, so... Yes. And everyone else... Uh, everyone else takes 28 necrotic damage. Okay. okay. Uh, 28? Yep, 28. Okay. Oh, I think that actually is enough. Oh my god, that is enough. Yeah, what? it is. Uh, for uh, Banishing Smite to hold. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, right. Have, uh, uh, yeah. Right. So he just he just simply spread the vampire just spreads his arms and make, and uh, just drinks in the blood he extracts from you. Which is okay. really bad because he's probably going to use the blood to do something. All right, Silvana, what do you do? Well, uh, good question. What can I do? Uh, I'm gonna... You can fireball him. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh... I'm gonna try to make an educated guess first, so... Uh... Can I assume that he, like, kind of takes over not only Skozan's body, but also his spellcasting ability? Um... Make an arcana check. Uh, you believe he took what he believed the vampire kept what he believed was most beneficial and destroyed what wasn't. Okay, so mm -hmm. that means he doesn't need. So basically, you don't think he he does you don't you don't think he needs uh, Skolzan's spellcasting ability. Yep, and I will fly uh, fifty feet closer uh, and then cast uh, Flame Strike on using my last uh, spell slots. Alright. Uh, plus six to the radiant part, so, uh, 20, uh, 30, uh, four, plus six, 40. 40 total. And then, yeah. Alright, he makes his save. Yeah, so 20. So he will only take 20. That's not even denting him. I know. We need Vero back. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use yep. my bonus action to hex him, actually. Cool. Actually, I'm going to do the other way. Sorry. I already said I'd do Flame Strike first, so that's on me. But you can do it in either war, though, so. Yeah. Uh, it's just no bonus when I use that. So, yep. yeah, I'm going to use bonus action to hex him. Uh, uh, probably. Uh, shit. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna. 
Can I use for no. Yeah, uh, probably wisdom. Because that's yeah, the wisdom. Good, good call. Yeah. And that's about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm fifty. I'm fifty feet away from him right now, I guess. All right. Because I was in the middle point where he was fifty feet mm. away from me, and then yeah. Uh. Okay, what do you use? So, that's your turn? Yep, that is all I can do. Alright, next up is here is your ancient enemy. Yep. Alright, what he is going to do. He just says, you just hear him whisper in a voice that can be heard by all of you, even by Beryl in the ethereal plane. He says, I do not fear you. And he is going to command the blood to turn into, he's going to command the blood to rise up behind you and turn into like dozens and dozens of spikes. Uh, you guys have seen Fate Stay Night, I assume. Oh, yeah. 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 You remember Gilgamesh's ability to send dozens of weapons at Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like that, but the weapons are made out of blood. Uh, I need all of you to make deck saves. Okay. This is where I'm good at. Come on, Viral. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> nice. Would that be a magical? Yes, it is. Okay, so that would give me an advantage. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That would give me an advantage. That sucked. That sucked. That's All right. Sucked. Right. Um, Iona will spend a legendary resistance on Alexander's behalf, so he succeeds. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So all of you succeeded. So that means you guys don't take the full brunt of this horror. <laughs> Does it count like a vision? Since I dodge, I take no damage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All awesome. right. Viral just goes completely anime through the through the hail of dark, hail yeah. of blood weapons. Matrix does. That's, not, that's not weapons. It's spikes made out of blood. Yeah. Yeah. Spikes. Yeah. The rest of you guys take sixty four points of damage. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I can't make that save. Wait. Uh, Khan would be twenty. No, I couldn't make the save. So yeah, banishing smite is gone. Esna is back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Freya's back too. Oh, um, oh that's and Duke is back. So Freya and Duke's by blood go is sucked into the vampire god oh, automatically. Uh, it doesn't oh. Autom automatically. It doesn't even need an action. No. Oh, he's just like it. he just looks. He just shakes his head. He just says, "Too little, too late." Ah, shit. Oh, at least he just he seems kind of more disappointed by that than anything. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Ezna is still paralyzed, by the way. Okay. Um, Viral, we need you. Uh, Viral, all right. I'm going to stop twice and speaking about... Well, actually, yeah. as you well, will pop that, uh, actually, at the end of that turn, Yona's going to use her um, legendary action to cast haste on you. All right, oh, let's hey. go. You get your haste. Nice. Speaking about Fate Stay Night, if this works, I think this will be somewhat cool. What? <laughs> what? Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. How, how do you do? How that? did you do that? That's amazing. Everything about what I'm yeah. seeing at the moment is the greatest <laughs> thing in the world. All right. Um, the 22 does not hit, but Damn you are. That. But you just deal some pretty <laughs> nasty damage to this guy. <laughs> All, All right. right. How do you oh, that good. You know, we'll have to find out for the next yeah. campaign. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'll have to you. find that out. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Except I don't think he wears. Don't think Viral is wearing a dress. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, well. yeah. Well. <laughs> the happiness of the gift is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Viral, go for the kill. Yeah, you got this. Viral went hit him. Viral hit him three times. The 22 was not enough to breach his AC. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right. Wait. I'll see if I pop back. Through the ethereal plane. All right, let's see if you do. Oh God, no, nope. I'm not. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so I'm just he sticking on to this dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're clinging on for dear life. Um, 
and he is. I don't see the damage though. No, it's 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 literally chunks. It, oh, he doesn't have full damage. It's yeah. Fixed. Okay. Like I take one eighth of his health, one sixth of his health, one fourth of his health, etc. Actually, um, a quarter of his hit points every time. So oh wait, I can only finish left him one off. quarter. Nice. Yeah, he is down to a quarter of his health, and he's going to use his legendary action. And he is going... What's he gonna do? Alright, he is going to use... <clears throat> he is going to use... Uh, Skullzan's Disciple ability, but a significantly improved version. Oh god. Okay. Alright, um... I need Viral to make a Wisdom saving throw. All right. Um, is Viral near me? Oh no. Are you within thirty? Are you within thirty feet of him? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So that would be uh, four, twenty-two. Yeah. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Ooh, yes. That is not enough to beat Damn. the DC. What? Oh. And you must stab yourself with Audi. Luck. Oh god. Oh, my. No luck. You can still use. I don't luck. have luck. You don't have luck. He's all out of luck. Oh, I no. didn't take the lucky feet. Dang it. All right. Stab oh, yourself with Audi, baby. Oh, Come on. All right. See what we got. Oh. That's a hit. <laughs> Damn it, the gift is, is you. You're using the gift against me. Must play sneak attack, too. Yes. Oh, no. So you say you don't have to divine smite yourself if you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, not. if he's willing me to make me kill myself, I think yeah. he would want me to go full in. The DM is being nice to you. Don't, 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 don't spit do it away. Don't do self-inflicting <laughs> wounds, <laughs> man. That's his choice. I'm not influencing it. Yeah. You're not table talking this, Vero. What are you doing? Oh no. Yeah. What are you doing? Because if he wait, is this like an order to say like kill yourself? Is that like what I'm getting? More like um, him controlling your, the blood in your arm to stab you. Uh, All right, so then I don't think I would have the yeah. will to. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So. So 37. Yep. All right. Next will be Iona. She will use mercy and give all of you, everyone here, 50 hit points. Okay. 86. Let's go. And then she is going to bring her god blade down. Ooh la la. That does not kill him. He's mm. still kicking. Alexander, you're up. Uh how so Viral looks you're at 86 now? Yeah, he's yep. okay. Uh I'm gonna just go for the vampire god with all the might that I can muster and swing. Well, hit him. Uh, Let's make your first attack. Let's see yeah. what that does. Let's see what it does. Okay. Oh. No, that's a mess. Oh my. Okay, because I'm because I'm an idiot. Before I make my second swing, I would like Flank. to channel my divinity to give myself advantage. Right. Position. I I could just divinity change. channels. Hit him again. Yes. All right. What's the damage? Fourteen. Uh. Uh, holy extra, extra! Absolutely, I'm gonna dump a, just a regular, regular mm -hmm. old uh, 5d8 smite. Right. Okay. So that's uh. All right. <laughs> How would you like to finish him? Yes. Yeah. Oh! I get the cool. Just with my um, my mother at my side. Yeah. My wings drawn. I say. I'm avenging Heimkong Kasumi tonight, and I strike down a god of evil, a god of hate, and a god of the dead. And I thrust forward with all my might, and through the heart of the vampire god, I stab Oath Keeper through and true. All right. All right, since it's not Audi that finished him, Oh. What happens if you see him? He just sinks to his knees. He's not. He's dead. Right. He just. He just 
plucks at the little at the sword that's sticking through him, and he just looks at you, and just uh, and he <laughs> he just he just smiles at you. He just says, "I will not be forgotten." And then he collapses onto the ground. Uh, I just take heavy breaths and I I'm, pull the blade out. I'm gonna examine him just to be sure. because I don't I don't like the tone he was talking. All right. Uh, um, uh, so I'll let you make an Arcana check or a heal check. Uh, so heal means medicine, right? Yeah, medicine check. Yeah. All right. Try to do medicine. For the first time, for the first time in the wow, game. that's that's I, good. I, that's I really really good. Oh, uh, you think oh, he's yeah. dead? He is dead. However, uh, someone like Skullzan could probably try to bring him back again. Uh, I turn to real and says, My and stabbing without he won't do anything. It has to be while he's alive. alive. So, so um, there is a way myself. though. You could probably do it if you were to lock him inside of an impenetrable vault or something. There's you could probably keep him from recovering the body. It's not been it hasn't been ripped to pieces like it was with Bahamut. Okay. There's no vault that's hard enough to keep him forever. Like I mean for Maybe. the sake of No, but he is know. basically he is dead. And just basically waiting for someone to bring him back now. Can we All bring right. him back? Just a little bit? No. <laughs> We're not bringing back, back the vampire gods. Vampire gods. Vampire gods. <laughs> no, I mean like you know when you I know I know what like, you're trying to say someone which we bring... from zero to one hit and point then, and then, then it's just like yeah, no, I I, I look at Sylvana and I just say, we need to find a place where we can hide this body, at I least don't, for now. I don't know. Where? Like, where is the right place that no, like, maniac like Skozan will try to, like, rise him I mean, again? maybe, maybe, honestly, maybe Bahamut might know. He might know of a place. Yep, <clears throat> so we bring it to Bahamut's temple? We could try. I think it's worth a shot. Well, um... There's one idea. Well, Leona does have one terrible idea that she's not, she really does not want to say. Oh. I walk uh, over to her. I, do I notice that she's kind of hiding? Yeah, she's something? kind of just looking, it's like shifting, like looking like mm -hmm. kind of iffy. I look at Iona and I say, Mother, what are you thinking? And she lays out the plan. Um, have any of you guys played Hollow Knight? Well, I have. I, I have. Because but... there's going to be, because there's some spoilers. Um, it's fine. Basically, um, yep. one of the one of you four presents can absorb the body and will into themselves like the Hollow Knight, and then lock themselves away for all time. Oh. Who is willing to? If any of you are willing to make that ultimate sacrifice. Oh. Unlike don't unlike Radiance though, it won't um, it won't corrupt you. It won't spread. But you'll have to be, lock yourself away for all time to make sure that his body is ne that he's never brought back. Never brought back. So, I just look at Iona and I say, "No, I this time I beat him to it." I was like, "Oh, well, if I can, there's not much of a point, is it? Uh, if we lock ourselves away." Uh, by the way, interestingly, when the vampire god died, Esna died too. Yeah. I mean, like... At this yeah. time, though, there was no blood ripping out of her. Yep. She just died. Yep. Yeah. I closed the... I closed the... Uh, the demiplane once they're all dead and, like, destroyed it. And then, I was like... Uh, my family all died. And... There's no... Seemingly no way to bring them back. And I don't want anyone else to do this. And I certainly don't want Alex to try this dumb thing again. <laughs> I oh agree. My. Yeah, so can we find some dummy? Can we create some kind of. Uh, something to block this thing with it and then away. So build your own Hollow Knight then. Yes. Build your own Hollow Knight. That might actually... Yeah, my thanks for what says. Maybe. Well, either way, I don't think 
people can revive the vampire god in a long, long time. It's, yeah, especially yeah. since uh, when he devoured Skull's Down, he devoured Skull's Down's spellbook as well, which is yes. where the ritual was kept. Where's so. where the ritual was kept. Yeah. It's if like, there's a will, there's always a way. Like, for example, mm. if a wish spell... Yeah, but we have the time. We we have we have the time now, Savannah. Let's let us. I do like that idea. I like that idea quite a bit. But we need to at least get the body out of here. We need to find a safer place where we can continue and plan. True. Um, uh, hmm. I, I, gonna, I walk over I'm to you. I, I summon I wa Liaman's like secret chest. It's not big inside. enough. This thing is mad. This is a big body. I know. I'm gonna chop it down. Just. It's chop too it into pieces. Yeah, chop it into pieces. <laughs> sure. And then stuff it inside the chest. So, at least it's safer. Yeah. We don't have to carry. I uh. So, yeah. I um. I walk over to to Silvana and uh, I say, "This is a victory." Okay, we can figure this out. Yeah. Don't you feel a little bit glad I beat you to it? Or else you'll be like, Oh, I'm gonna sacrifice myself to beat the dumb dumb at the end of the time. I yeah. love Yeah. I love I love how <laughs> I love how like it's like you're just like, no, you do not get to sacrifice yourself, yeah. Alexander. And no one is gonna sacrifice today. No, no one. We won. And no. that's the most important part. Um, well if there's anything we can have consistently done is fight fate. All right. So, um, you can't. You try to pull the body, but you realize you even if you were to pull the body apart, you wouldn't be able to fit into the Yemen's secret chest. Mm -hmm. um, well, Yona's just going to like, pull your hair up a little, so... Savannah. Oh, sorry. Um, I would. I would say like if we don't think we could cut it up, then I yeah. will literally just carry it. No. What happens? Uh, Yona just simply musts Savannah's hair away. Uh, Alexander does, did it with did with Heinkel and Kasumi. Mm -hmm. And she just says, don't worry, Savannah, I have a bigger one. And she snaps her fingers and a large, ornate, golden platinum coffin appears. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> big enough to stuff the body in. Okay, let's just do it. Just All right, in. All right so, so you, cool. with, uh, with the little uh, finagling, the three of you managed to stuff, uh, sorry, the four of you stuff the body into the coffin, shut it, and then uh, Iona dismisses it, mm -hmm. and then teleports all of you back to Celestia. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Where Bahamut is, it, it's a, where Bahamut is, he's not in his palace anymore. He's actually um, on a large grassy hill, and uh, he's uh, surrounded by the spirits of children. They're running around playing. They're climbing up onto him, swinging from his, some of his horns and his spikes, <laughs> jumping up, basically having fun. Okay. Uh, one of the ghosts you notice is Maria. Yeah. Hey. Who is no longer uh, looks like her teenage self, but looks more like a ten-year-old child. Yeah. Good. Almost yeah. like Robin. Just good. All right. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna approach him yeah. if possible. Yeah. Uh, Bahamut just uh, looks at you. He says, "You have done well." It took us. It took a lot. But we we have a plan to finish this through. We just we might need to create something. Bahamut just nods and says. Whatever hope you need, I will give it. Can we? I'll take time. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. Can we have craft some sort of a not not conscientious? Uh, well, not conscious. Uh, well, gar golem? a golem. Yeah, a golem. Meat golem or shield. Probably a golem. Yeah. probably a flesh, flesh a flesh golem. golem. Like the yeah. boy, like what I just type, what I typed into the chat. What? Yeah, <laughs> where, where? a Hollow Knight. Gonna... Could yeah, we perhaps gonna, yeah. make a Hollow Knight? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bahamut, um, or, as you said, or, yeah, Bahamut. animated armor. Can we stuff the shield guardian? Well, the the vampire guard into the, the animated armor. shield guardian. Shield <laughs> guardian. No, shield <laughs> guardian. Yeah. No, uh, Bahamut does. He's going to just shake his head and say, "No, yeah. I would never condemn anyone to that." I would never make a puppet and force them to do this. Oh, definitely not. I mean, not a conscious body, but more like, or or like an animated no, armor. I wouldn't even do that. Why? I mean, it's just, it he's just, he says, yeah. he says, people who follow me 
and who break away. They do it with their own free will. I will not, not now, not ever, be served by a puppet with no soul, with no will. Mm -hmm. If someone contains it within themselves, it will be because they made that choice. Okay. Well, if it's an animated armor, it won't be a like, living he, creature. He's, say, right? he's saying yeah, that he... he, he he he's saying that I think what he's trying to say to us is that it's not something that we can just we can't just wish away this problem. We can't just like create a construct and try and put the soul in. This is, has to be the choice of a being. It has to be a decision that the being makes, not mm -hmm. something that we can just like put away into some mindless uh, construct, whether it be yeah. slightly living or dead. Yeah. That's what he's trying to say to us in this moment. Fine. How do you no. I won't do it. No, no. What? No, no, no. no. You yeah, don't. I, I, I won't do it. You won't do it either, Savannah. What? What? What did you say? He says, you're not going to do it. What do you mean? I, I so, if you I'm sealed sure. yourself, or if you pulled this thing into yourself and you sealed yourself away, what would I tell your family? There's and he lifts one of his wings and you see your family just laid out on the ground looking like they're asleep. No vampiric corruption, nothing. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I look towards Bahamut this time. I'm mm -hmm. saying, uh, please, can you don't wake them up just yet? He says, I won't. I walk to each and every one of them, uh, gives them a hug. Like tides up, tidies up their dress, and just give them a soft kiss on their cheek. Turn, saying, let them know I died. What? No. Let them know that I didn't make it. But tell them everything is fine. This is bounces. I will not lie to your family. Then I'll ask Alex to do this. To do this. I'm just going to walk up to you, Savannah, and I'm just going to look you very seriously, let's say. Yeah. You sure you want to do this? Because there's no going back after this. There's no going back. Anyway, I can't ask any one of you to take on the burden. I can't lose my face. Uh, it would be safer for the people. I can, I can continue my study when I'm isolated and try to figure out a way to destroy this thing. That seems like the best option there is. I love my dialogue. Okay, I wouldn't say great because there are other slave. Okay. And as a friend, you know, just take care of my family. Iona's going to say, Well, I saw how form how formidable they were in the fight. Yes. They, if they hear about the sacrifice Savannah made, I'm sure they will bend every effort to finding a way to free her. And they just might figure a way out, figure out a way to do it. If anyone can, it'd be them. Viral just yeah, looks that very frustrated. Why, that is why we don't tell That's them. why. That is why we said I died, disintegrated in the battle. The vampire god consumed me. Whatever. It's Viral, Viral's gonna cut in, looks very frustrated, and he says, so, so you said it yourself. Today we won. Why do you have to sacrifice yourself now to lock yourself away? I'd rather fight the vampire god alone 100 times over than let you go. Come on, please. There's no reason for you to do this now. We can find a way this There's time. no other way. If we don't do this, if someone else 
when you start the mission over, how are we supposed to be there just in time? Maybe, maybe not this, maybe not this week, maybe not this month. But what if a hundred years later, someone figure out a way? I don't want to go in there as much as anyone else, but there is someone who's got to took this on. And I don't think ni I think neither of you have enough, with all due respect, have the knowledge to try to figure out how to solve this problem. I would Alex do is just remaining quiet. I would do yeah. my best. And. Bjorn is going to say, well, if either myself or Alex did it, um, we could put ourselves in isolation and you could bend your efforts, still bend your efforts to figuring out how to how to solve this problem. But I can't ask you. Yeah, I see. She's, she's not going to. Oh, yes. It will be pretty selfish if I try to ask anyone else to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it is kind of interesting that, uh, yeah. Yeah. You would have to choose between your families, is what she said. Yeah. So I don't choose. I choose to. You choose option the, three. Yes. I choose option three. You know what? Yeah. That's why I'm being very quiet about this because I think this is what Savannah would do. <laughs> even though I don't. Even though Alexander wouldn't like it, this is exactly what Savannah would do. <laughs> and. Though Alex is now half, half asthma, well, asthma, and Joe is still a human, so walking there, you guys would not last as long as I would. He's oh, half asthma, he's half god. Yeah. So I think you'll last long. Yeah, but like, yeah, I'm human, so. But Alex being Alex will probably just pounder himself, not knowing what to do, just being pouty all the time, so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'd do. Besides, I, I, just, I always I, love I, just staying. Uh, I never, truth be told, I, I was never quite the adventurous type. Uh, I only come out here to find my family now that has been done. I mean, I think I would accept, like, being on this own. I, I just look at Sylvana and I say, I know that no matter what I say, I won't be able to change your mind. That is, that is you, Sylvana Undershine. I understand that. I don't I, want it, but I understand that. And I promise I will keep your family safe. Just, as long as I can. Just don't tell them the truth, all right? I promise, I promise I won't. If they don't know the truth, how will they be able to help you? Uh, they don't. Because if if they figure out a way to free me, and not being able to still deal with the Vampire God, it will be a waste. So, I beg of you. Don't you have Artie Viator? I'm I'm more just trying to listen to the last thing that Savannah wants to do, and I'm just going to say, yeah. I promise I won't tell them. Hero? I look up there as well. He just he doesn't reply. He just stays silent. But after like a few seconds, he nods. All right, all right, uh, guys, shut up. Uh, it's not a, like I'm dead or anything. Well, yeah, it's just a long time. Small tiny hut, uh, drinking tea or whatever. Yeah. So uh, I turn around to Bahaman and says, so, what do I do? You can uh, hear like, you know, this summons the, shaking yeah. in Savannah's voice. Yeah, you know, just resummons the coffin. Bahamut says, hold still. All right. And then he casts the ritual. As he does, um, the body turns into blood and it flows up towards your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Yeah, that's the most comfortable part. But anyway, <laughs> it's you. I'm still rigid covered in you blood, rigid, by just the hold, way. Force yourself to hold still. Yeah, and it and enters inside puke. of you. Yes, and not puke. And when it's done, um, you feel a sort of heaviness on you. Yeah. 
like you've heard the expression weight of the world on your shoulders. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what you feel like you have right now. Right. Like you expect to like, almost like you'd be hearing insidious whispers or anything or something, but yeah. there's nothing. It's just silent. Okay. Uh, I look at Alex and I hand over, well, uh, the rod and my bag of holding. Well, not the bag of holding, uh, actually, because I need the research, the books and stuff. But I hand all my weapons, uh, bag of holding, amulets. Yeah, all the all the items. Yeah, and then the the robe. Yeah, the robe probably. Yeah, as well. I'm not sure if it's covered by the meat suit, so I can't really take it off. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> if that's the case, because I can't. Really... <laughs> I I mean yeah. I can give you. I have spare robes in my. But I could, I could, I'll, I just grab your belongings. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, besides the bag holding, you guys have everything I have. Like, uh, my voice will be covered with muffled like Deadpool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> All right. So I, do I want I gonna, to before you go, before you go, Savannah, I can do that. It's kind of awkward and heavy because uh, I'm in. Houston, but I still yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. So, um, when you're done, when you all said your goodbyes to her. Uh, Bahamut just roars and Savannah vanishes. Um, Savannah, mm-hmm. you are you find yourself in a place you don't recognize like at all. Okay. You're inside of a crumbling castle, and when you look outside through the gap through the gaping holes in the wall, you see um, that the sky is actually this is and not blue as you expected, but this bruised purple. Mm-hmm. With, uh, with weird green clouds off in the distance. <sighs> and below you, you see below the ruins of this castle, you see a plain of orange grass. You have, like, no idea where you are. When you look up into the sky, it's night. You can see, the, you can see like, the stars in the sky look, have very strange, lurid constel- constellations. You have no idea where you are. All right. Perhaps uh, it's your best. I guess there's a lot of work to do. I just started uh, <laughs> doing mold earth and tried to build myself a tiny house. <laughs> yeah. All right. Back on Celestia. What do you guys do? Mm. I just look at you. I just say, I don't know if that was the right call, but I know that she wanted to fight fate no matter what. Bomb just says. This. She has fought fate, and she has won. But she never counted what she never counted on what the cost of victory would be. I think none of us really could foresee that. I real just looks at Sylvana's family and say, "I'm not sure if I can tell them straight to their faces that Sylvana died in the battle." I, I don't think I can. I, I look, I look, says, oh, sorry. I will tell them. I will send them back to. I'll send them to one of the many worlds out there. And I'll leave them an explanation. They'll wake up knowing what happened to Silvana. Come they on. won't know where she is. <laughs> they won't know where Man, she is. Cool. <laughs> they won't know where she is, though. And they won't know the exact nature of the condition that afflicts her. Oh, but but it'll be she'll, she'll know that she'll know that they're, she'll know that, they're, she'll know that they're, she's still out there. They just yeah, they'll know that she's alive. They'll know that she has a entity of absolute evil inside of her that she's trying that she's keeping able to keep contained. So they will, but that, that beyond that, they won't know anything else. Damn so they will it. spend every They're gonna hour. try to find me. Damn nah, you don't know that. You're not there. You don't know that. Sure, Viral and Alexander that they will not be able to find her for a very long time. Yeah, I figured. 
but she's on a very alien world. Still the end. I mean, I I can't I can't I can't disagree with Bahamut. I'm sorry. Oh, so I know. No. I, can't but... I actually agree with Bahamut. <laughs> seriously, DM, that's a dick move. Seriously. Uh, it's a Bahamut dick move. It's a Bahamut yeah, dick move. <laughs> he just said it to you that he won't lie. I what know, were you expecting? But, like, I was asking everyone else to keep a secret just leave I, I i i gave you i gave you i gave you my answer and that i was gave you I my know. answer but you didn't get bahamut's answer. all right so bahamut just covers the family back up with his wings and you see a brief flash from underneath as he teleports them somewhere else he says what about you two um alexander can you just make it to the lake Lake would keep fine. I'm just gonna take my mind off things. I'm gonna go somewhere else. I just look at him and I say, "Don't get yourself in any more trouble, all right?" Uh, I just need some time to think. I'll I'll go back to Lake Cape. I'll be waiting for you there. <laughs> Thanks. And I need to keep her stuff safe. <laughs> all right. Oh, by the way, make sure Vasilka knows I'm fine. I just need to think. Yeah, so true. that she doesn't kill you. <laughs> oh, good, great. Yeah, oh, you're no. gonna send me to deal with it's your so... wife. Thanks, Alex Viral. Alex is the only one returned. <laughs> what happened? And then you know I'll what? I, to... I I cannot wait. No, no, I'm already. I guess I'm already on my way. This is gonna yeah, be interesting. There's... Alexander is uh, teleported back, and Viral, you can teleport yourself wherever you want to go. Uh, I think. What's the first place that comes into? This might actually be a bad idea, but it's something I actually haven't been able to resolve yet. I'm going to go to Castle Ravenloft. Oh, all right. Interesting. Ooh, Alexander, interesting. let's start with Alexander. You uh, find yourself uh, on the plains that surround Lakewood Keep. Oh. Uh, and you can see the keep up ahead and the abbey and everything just like you left it. So it's fine. Yeah, it's gleaming brightly under the sunset, under the setting, rays of the setting sun. So, I just walk towards it. All right. And Alexander Anderson comes home. Vero, you find yourself inside of Ravenloft's throne room. Mm, is Strahd here? He is not in this room now. Hmm. You can call out for him if you like. Sure, I just shot. Strahd, you here? <laughs> Strahd, buddy! It's me, Vero! <laughs> yeah, you hear footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the door, uh, the doors leading into the throne room open up, and you see Strahd coming in. He says, "I am here, Vero. Mm. What are you doing?" Uh, here? Uh, things just happened. Uh, I just need some time to think. And there's been something that's been in my mind for the longest time. Um, one when thing I noticed was... before I do this, this is very pretty important. Um, you could see in the because it's night it's nighttime at Ravenloft. Um, there's moonlight filtering through the stained glass windows. Um, but when Strahd enters, he's carrying a torch, and by the light of the torch, you can see that he's human again. And I, as I walk closer, and I say, "Why would you need a torch?" He says, <laughs> "I'm no longer a vampire. I can't see in the dark." And I just give like a small smile and say, "Well, does it feel good?" He says, I feel, well, when he, he, when he looks at you directly, you see that he's actually younger again. He's like in his early 20s now. Mm -hmm. He says, I've been given a second chance. I do not intend to waste it. Well, that's great. Um, last time when I was here in uh, Barovia, when you contact me in my dream, you said something about my parents or you being able to help revive them in any way. He says, yes, I was wondering when you bring that up again. And uh, well, he, pulls, busy. he pulls something out. He pulls, uh, he pulls a, a roll of paper and he hands it to you. I grab yes, it sir. and can I open it? Yeah, you look at it. All right. What it's does a it small say? scroll of wish. Mm -hmm. So this is this is. It says, "How badly you want them back? 
will dictate what you do with this. Okay, and like, like it's it's surreal. Like for the longest time, he's been trying to find a way, and it's right in front of him. Mm. So, it's, Th thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Now I need to go to bed. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you have the time. Yeah, he puts uh, he puts uh, the torch into uh, into a into a sconce, into a sconce, empty sconce, and then he l walks out. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and then I still have planes. I still have teleport from Audiviator, and I just yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, I need to go back to Lakewood Keep and Audiviator. Take me there. I was like, yes, sir. And uh, Alexander, as you walk into the main hall of Lakewood Keep, Viral teleports in. Oh, you just kind of take a step back. Oh, yeah. Startled me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a bit quicker than I expected, actually. Um, and Viral just can't help but smile with the scroll in his hand and mm -hmm. say, My parents are going to be home soon. I can't wait to meet them. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna call my Vasilka and Robin. I'm gonna have to do some explaining. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Explaining to do. I haven't. Um, I haven't actually. actually... You don't know, need to call them. There's this cartoon blur, and then uh, Vasilka practically tackles you. <laughs> <laughs> There's another blur, and Robin hits you from behind. Oh. <laughs> and they both start. They're hugging you. The guy, Robin's just babbling, and Vasilka's just. She's just uh, just hugging you as tightly as she can. <laughs> that is enough to almost crack your ribs. Uh, the vampire god has nothing on this. Yeah. No, he certainly <laughs> doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, after a few like minutes, I guess I like I just all right. Um, or I after one of your ribs cracks. Brought up the topic that our parents are dead to Robin. That's actually a huge oversight from Vero. Yeah, that's okay. an interesting problem. Oh, no, oh okay, okay. She just needs to be gone on some big, long away, far away trip, and they'll be back soon. So uh, I say to uh, Robin. Like, so um, I'm. I know you're smart, uh -huh. so you know that um, mom and dad have been gone for a while. Yeah, they'll, they'll be back. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, they they'll be back. And all right, let's do this. I unroll the. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, you're uh, starting to sound like Megatron here. Oh. Oh God. One second. Do I? Well, I mean, you're, you sound okay. you sound okay for me, but yeah. that makes me worried that Falcon is is preparing. Yeah, oh, connecting. Sure. One moment. I just got the wish spell. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like no. <laughs> right. I'm okay, back. He, he has returned. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Robin's like, so yeah, I, they're on a long trip, they'll be back. Yeah, they're going to be back sooner than you think. And I unroll the scroll and I use Wish. Nice. You have to say it. Do it. You have to say it. Precise word. I bro. wish. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> now you're actually making me think about what I have to say. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because you have to uh, be real precise. You have to or, be very specific. Yeah, so or don't come choose back. Your words, like, choose your words wisely. Yeah, choose your words wisely, please. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I have to put this in my notepad. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, I love it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's, he's writing it out. Yeah. Alex is just making sure that... Uh, you know, he's actually going to make sure that the are we in the hall or? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make sure that nobody else is coming down this hall for now, just, mm. just in yeah. case. Actually, while while you're writing, Viral, I just got to go to the washroom real quick because that monster went through me like crazy. So I'll be right back. Right. Yeah. Okay, this is the best I could think up with. Post in the chat. Let's see what it does. Okay, hold on. I kind of missing a word here. Okay. Okay, come on. I'm not sure if this is precise wording. It's the attack on the house. Down here, like nothing happened to them since the attack on the house. Hmm. Which is good. All right. 
And is that your final wording, sir? Oh, yes. Man. I'll do it. Locking it in. Yes. All right. You make your wish. And then the scroll disintegrates in your hand. So you know it works. Yes. But they're not anywhere in front of you. Oh, no. Huh? I look around, like, above, bottom, behind. <laughs> yeah. You look around, spin around. Nothing. Uh, do I know what happened? Like, you know, it worked. Anyway, I just re mm, does anyone here have scry? Uh, no, has a day I passed. Just like, uh -uh. I, I actually, here's the funny thing, Falcon has a day passed, or have we taken a long rest? Not yet. You need to take a long rest. Okay, I look at. Viral, I have scry. But you need to take a long rest. I need to take a long rest, though. So I need you to give me some time. Well, I don't have a feeling they're back at Hammerfest. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that they might be back at Hammerfest. All right. We'll have well, to confirm. So oh, I put come instead of be here. Ah. Yeah, oh. well. Um, all right, so you guys are going to take your long rest then. Yeah, yeah. I, you guys. I'm I'm good. I'm gonna be very anxious about this, but yeah, I have to wait. Uh, right, I need, so I need to wake up. Go. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, next, long, long rest. Re one long rest later, you wake up, and you hear uh, downstairs. You hear Robin just hit pounding the table, chanting, "We want food. We want food. <laughs> we will get you food, little one." Yeah, uh, yeah. As you uh, stumble downstairs, um. You, uh, as, you, as you go downstairs, you see uh, Robin's there along with a couple of other the paladins, mm -hmm. a couple of the other paladins and clerics who happen to live in the castle. Um, and uh, while the, you can hear the sounds, of, the sounds of dishes clattering around in the kitchen, um, and one of the paladins says, no, 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 you got you got to be a lot louder. You got to be a lot louder. Really hit the table a lot harder for things to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god. Was just like, no, thank you. That. <laughs> That's just not true. Yeah. I, I, I run down and say, who taught her that? I'm rushed down over as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I heard something. Who's the father that said that, huh? Uh, oh, no no one is saying that? anything. <laughs> you're supposed to be teaching, my, you're supposed to be role models here, not make it worse. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm something? I'm the one that's supposed to do. I mean, uh, anyway, <laughs> you're the one supposed to bang on the table. All right. Well, then <laughs> I, I'm the bad oh influence. Anyway. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, the uh, door open. The door to the kitchen opens. You hear, you hear a Claudia Lake would say, "Heads up!" And then these dishes Mom? full of eggs and bacon come flying out and go sliding across the table in front of everyone. And, it's and just like you remember push. from your childhood, oh. Beryl. <laughs> yeah. Because what she does, that's how your mom serves breakfast. What she does is she just throws it like a frisbee and slides it across the table <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> and I, uh, where's dad? Oh, uh, your mom steps out. Uh, she is, uh, she's this dark haired woman with, with, uh, she has, uh, heterochromatic eyes. One of her eyes is blue, one of her eyes is brown, and they both sparkle with mischief. Um, oh boy! She's mm -hmm. uh, she uh, looks at. She says, "Oh well, he's he's with the Solomon. They're checking the accounts, making sure everything's okay. You know, after the attack and all that." All right, and I unbuckle Adivia and I like hand it over. In. Oh wow! Yeah. It's like, well, you never Dog. really told me about Adivia. Uh, the Robert is. She's like, she's like, oh, you you have it. Uh, has it has already served you well? Very. And told me about a lot yeah, of stories Audie, about you. Say, you. Just like if Audi was a person, it'd be like doing like this anime squeeing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. yeah. Meanwhile, the Robin is uh, eating her breakfast. She's like, "I draw you, baby prick." Anyway, I just sit down and. Eat. And so, as you sit down, your mom says, "By the way, Vero, your wife is a great cook." <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you already met. And then you hear Vasuka say, "Incoming!" 
And then oh. you see him, I'm just like, uh, almost, um, you've seen The Hobbit, right? The first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember how they're throwing the dishes around? Oh, right. Man. That's what's happening. Like, so I was throwing the, di- throwing the pool plates and at, uh, at Cloudy and she's just slinging them out onto the table. Oh, wow. Yeah, and one of the That's paladins is eating. He's like, I'll tell you what, Bill, we're eating like kings ever since your wife started cooking. My compliments <laughs> to her. And to you, man. You know how to pick them. <laughs> hey. uh, Alexander's just sitting in the corner with his arms crossed with a big smile on his face. And and I just too. like, Alexander, come here. <laughs> All right. And I sit down. Do you have toast? I would. I could go for some toast. That's like okay, yeah. With or without bacon. <laughs> let's let's go with bacon. That's a good day to celebrate. <laughs> All right. Wow. Something yep. add on to toast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a plate of toast and bacon is slid across the table, and it stops directly in front of you. I give a nod, and I just crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just take it from the top. Years and the years go by. Alexander, what is your epilogue? Ah, uh, what is my epilogue? All right, this will be interesting because I may want to. Because um, there's one thing I might want to add. Everything's going to stay the same that I talked to you about, Falcon, but. Uh, one thing might be slightly different, and I know Robin's going to hate me. <laughs> what? You can adapt. All What's right. Up? All right. So uh, for Alexander's epilogue, mm-hmm. uh, as I just get my little message thingy here, uh, first thing that happens is that Alex is going to attempt at some point to return to the Shadowfell. Uh, and he's actually going to try and make it to the ruins of the Black Academy, I think. Of the Academy, yeah. The, 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 the Bleak Academy, yes. Yeah. And he is going to do a couple things. One, uh, he is going to search the ruins for the eyes of the Oracle that Adam Eva tasked us to find. Mm. Oh, right. If it is there. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> All do I right. need to make an investigation check or... No, you don't. You spend all your time searching. You don't find it. Okay. No. You guess it looks like the, the ruins were picked clean after Zabukio was chased off. Yeah, I was yeah, figuring that. Probably. So that means my other plan's probably not going to work. Okay. Um, after that, um, Alexander goes home, like, frustrated and and tired, but he wants to go back to, to kind of keep things going with um, uh, with the next generation. Uh, with um, he spends the next two years attempting to um, build up the order of uh, the Knights of Bahamut, and um, just gonna adjust that real quick. Uh, yeah, one of the fr- you do that, um, you do get word. You do receive um, word from. Uh, I don't freaking remember the name anymore. Um, one sec. <laughs> Don't freaking remember that. That's embarrassing. I made the name up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what was the name of a person, a place? Hang on. Wrong one. Back up, back up. Anyway, that's what I wanted. Yeah, Everlight. That's what it was. You get word from Everlight. Um, mm. You have apparently been canonized as a saint. Ooh. Hey. Nice. Saint Alexander. Saint yeah. Alexander. Yep, and also the knights are democratically voting to change the name of their order to the Knights of Saint Alexander. Nice, I like it. Nice. <laughs> um, at some point um, during, as the years pass by, he attempts to. Well, he gets a second in command, someone who he he uh, thinks would do well. Yep. Uh, it's a younger a man, a paladin named Maxwell. With Maxwell, exactly, and he becomes a pseudo like prodigy. Yeah. Um, as Alexander trains the next generation. Mm. Now, for fun, yes. during that year, Alexander says, he looks at Robin, so, and he meets up with Robin, saying, how are you doing, little one? She says, she says well, I'm not exactly that little anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You've grown quite a bit this year. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm assuming 
you still want your hands on that little deck, correct? Yes. Oh, no. All right. Here's the deal. I will offer you a deal. Once in a lifetime deal. I will allow you once a year on your birthday to draw one card from the deck of many things. <gasps> okay. But wait, 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 wait. what if the deck makes me draw more cards? Oh. <laughs> like you draw a card and then the card makes you draw another card. Then you oh, will. Exactly. You will. <laughs> oh, now we'll get to that. But I'm only doing this if you can do this one thing. And What's that? I lead her to the final obstacle course. <laughs> 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 And I say, if you can, if you can succeed in learning how to dodge, much like your brother, I will allow you this trade, this deal. Yeah. Uh... She uh, looks at it and she says, "Can I bring Fluffy with me?" Yes, you can bring Fluffy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and she hops up on Fluffy and she says, and she says, "Okay, so what's the obstacle course? Basically, go over, grab something, and then bring it back to you." Hmm. Yeah, Alexander wouldn't have planned for that. So, yep. <laughs> All right, so what happens is fight. Fluffy goes ethereal, <laughs> takes Robin with it. Oh, my God. And then they rematerialize. She grabs the item. They go back ethereal, and then they reappear in front of her. She's like, right here. Well, that was certainly faster than I expected. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I, I, just, I just say, oh, is it? When is her birthday? She says, uh, after six months. <laughs> Well, I guess you'll just have to wait. And I pat her on her head and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's just looking at you. And she, she says, I'm going to get that deck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's great. Um, so many more years pass. And um, no, Alexander couldn't get... Uh, Alexander couldn't get Heinkel and Kasumi back. And... Actually, you never even tried. Well, I guess that's true. Uh, maybe during the second year, I attempted to see if I could find a way to bring back Heinkel and Kasumi, if possible. Yeah, you would, yeah quick talk with your mother and um, confirms that you have um, the divine will. Yeah, you could theoretically do it if you wanted. Do it. Why not? Could I, could I bring them back? Even, like, how would I even accomplish that? Like, with um. Powers? You know um, the twentieth level cleric thing? Yeah, I remember that. Where are you? What, I think it's like maybe tenth level. I think is when you get it. It's basically you petition your god, and oh, they that's, do something. Uh, that's, divine intervention, uh, right? Divine, divine intervention. intervention. Yeah, you could do that for yourself. Oh, I see. Because you are a divinity, actually, and you can intervene yourself. Okay. Bingo. Soon. And I will try i guess channeling my divine energy I, I just say please come back they and come back like just corporeal like like form in front of me mm -hmm. yeah there's like a like motes of light just appear and they are lying on the ground asleep but otherwise alive alex just falls to his knees in disbelief that that actually worked and Divinity actually, does, my divine powers actually do what they're supposed to do. Who would have thought? <laughs> I just pick up the bodies. Um, I bring them in. I let them rest for a moment. I just kind of sit there for a moment. And just kind of a tear kind of going down my face. Mm. Because I never thought that I would see them again. At some point, I did wake them up. With uh, lay on hands, both of them. Yep. And they are astonished to be alive again. <laughs> you too. I just look at both of them and I say, you too. Always running far from my reach. <laughs> it's a tear-filled reunion. <laughs> I give them a hug. And they hug you back. So after that, since I surprised I got that, um, about five years passed, and uh, one day you know, Alexander kind of stumbles a bit, kind of like has a trouble catching himself, but then kind of gets back up to his feet. 
And as every day kind of passes, he's starting to find himself grow weaker and weaker. What? And Why? The, one of the things that he is becoming to realize is that when the Draven sisters tortured him, even though it was they were healing up the um, the wounds, it was accelerating his lifespan drastically. Oh, oh no! Um. So in the coming about maybe four years, he starts to have to use a cane, very similar to Van Richten, to kind of just walk around. You know, he tries to help the the paladins as best as he can. You know sit at the table with Viral and Haikun Kasumi, teaching them as much as they can. At one point, there's one night where Alexander is bedridden, and he just asks for Viral and Haikun Kasumi to come to his side. Yeah. And you just see Alexander, he is much more paler. He is coughing a lot more just at, in his bed. And he's just mm -hmm. looking at the three of you. I, <coughs> I don't think I have much time left. I'm afraid. We could do something like we could we could go and find something to help you. No, I I think my time is actually up. And I just look at the uh, girl and I say, I can't thank you enough, Viral Lakewood, for everything that you've done. I was walking alone in this world all those years ago. And you gave me something more important to fight for. I just kind of smile. And uh, he just like tears running down his face. He, he like, he tries to force a smile and punches your shoulder and say, Sh shut up, I'll see you in Celestia, all right? I'll see you there too. Say hi to Roland. I will. And even though I ascended to sainthood, I'll make sure that they know about the deeds of Viral Lakewood. Because they deserve to be remembered. Because never have I ever met a truer paladin than you. I'll, I'll carry on your legacy. And we'll carry on your legacy. I look at Heiko Kasumi, and I look at Kasumi, and this is very important. I, I'm assuming at this point Kasumi kind of comes a little bit closer to hear me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I figured out over the years. I figured it out. What? What did you figure out? You know. She says, ah, she says, yeah, I, I guess you have, haven't you? You're going to find someone in this world who's worthy of that. She just starts crying, not like anime, cry, like bawling, not anime bawling, but just like, just that's just a couple tears go down her cheeks, mm -hmm. and she just nods very stiffly. Thank you, the both of you, my dynamic duo. Mm -hmm. And I kiss her on the forehead. Mm -hmm. And Alexander goes to sleep, and in the morning, he's gone. Yeah. Yep. And Alexander is sent to Lestia, where he is welcomed by Iona and Bahamut. And also Maria, she is also there. Again, still in her 10-year-old child form. And, yeah, you are. Yeah, Bahamut welcomes your strength. 
and you spend your eternal life to running around crushing threats to Bahamut on the Outer Plains. But after a couple centuries, like maybe 300 years or so, you do begin to detect prayers directed at you. Interesting. Sort of like how uh, Catholic, sort of like how in the Catholic religion you pray to saints as well as to God. Right. Savannah. Okay. Yeah, what is your epilogue? What is your epilogue? Uh, so, during the transaction, like, for Savannah, it's like, uh, she not only is starting to build up, like, a small... Because, uh, frank, quite frankly, I didn't expect this. Uh, so, the previous one will be different. So, uh, it, when the transaction trans transited over, can I ask Bahamut to send me some, like, you know, research on all the stuff he knows about the uh, vampire god and stuff like that? Is it possible? No, but um, if it's after you manage to build your little hut, yeah. uh, you wake up, you find this pile of it, the books and, and notes outside of your room. Like, Bahamut anticipated your need and he got it to you. Yeah. Well, for Silvana, it's fairly simple. Uh, just, it's probably simpler than most would expect. Like, it's just day day in, day out, just uh, study, research, and then try numerous way of solving the problems. And more importantly, it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and for whatever reason, on this world, there's no like dust or grime. Yeah. Uh, occasionally she'll try to ascribe uh, uh, Alex and Vero, see if they're good. Uh, she witnessed she witnessed some of the occasion, like some drastic moment. Uh, Alex the same hood. And, yeah. She might have. Well, I'm yeah. assuming it would be it would be interesting if you scried on me on that last moment. Yeah. I, I yeah, usually she saw him tend die. to be careful not to let you notice me. So. Not letting yeah. any one of you notice me. Now, if you knows, he can see the scrying sensor. Yeah, I know, but like I tried at least. I, I know yeah, Alex, pro Alex, Alex probably. Alex, Alex probably wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, but or maybe Vero or some servants in the lake would keep just you know keep an eye on. See what they see, what they're yeah. seeing. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I try to. Well, I don't try to scry on my family because I know if I don't resist the urge, they'll probably. Find me and because I didn't know that Bahamut gate sold me out, so <laughs> yeah, I was like trying really hard to resist the urge and yeah, to avoid that. And then, yeah. uh, one day you give in, yeah, uh, no, I, I don't give in, like, I hold for a really long time because I know you hold true, yeah, if I don't uh, carry on. I, I really I'm really afraid because the more I study it, the more I realize there's probably no other option of leaving this place. So I just uh, not really spiteful, but more like uh, feeling a little bit down in the spirit. Not entirely yeah. to cause it to cause being you know uh, feeling upset or anything, but more like oh. Just come to a mm. and then trying to build us like a suitable life. For You've us. lost. Yeah. You basically lost everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I feel for a sense of fulfillment, like for Silvana. It's like she knows that as long as she's here and like uh, she didn't reach out, then the world mm. will gradually lost the knowledge of her and. Therefore, the knowledge of the yeah, knowledge of the the, the, the ritual yeah. and the vampire god yeah, and, and the idea that uh, eventually it will yeah, fade yeah. into like a distant yeah. memory. Yeah. But event, but uh, one thing you do know, Savana, is that it, that this uh, thing happened of millions of years after Bahamut originally won beat him. Mm -hmm. So for all you know, you might have to wait here forever. Yeah, for eternity. Uh, that's what I signed off. That's for. yeah. That's yeah. 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 Incidentally, yeah. um, while you're while you're uh, just waiting there, mm -hmm. um, your family did make many attempts to try to find you, but they couldn't. Every divination they cast, every yeah. every wish spell, nothing, nothing was was able to help them out. 
But I didn't know that. They, <laughs> yeah, I didn't you didn't know that. Thanks. Check on them. I, I, yeah. You didn't check on them. Yeah, I still. Yeah, eventually. Think that Muhammad never told them. So. Yeah, he. Mm -hmm. They knew. Yeah, eventually, uh, as the fact as your member, family members succumb to old age, uh, Cain, in his desperation, eventually turns to Lichdom oh, to preserve himself so that he could try to find you. Yep. Uh, oh man! Not, not um, he's not like the monster lich that everybody else remembers. He's still on a lot. He's still a neutral. He's like uh, he's like the lich that was in uh, uh, Barovia, the one the, library. the Amber Temple. Yeah. Not even Exothanto yeah, was evil, um, but <laughs> he was. Uh, he's more like um, if you've ever read through Princes of the Apocalypse, there's a neutral lich in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, he, yeah. he does not just consume souls willy-nilly. He goes out, he finds evil entities who really deserve it. He devours their souls to sustain his existence. And he is determined to find Silvana before he lets himself die. He's going to find Silvana. Mm. <laughs> Starting to get the uh, sense that your family yeah. is full of stubborn people. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like you. I was hoping that if that's why I was hoping that Bahama never tell them the story. They might just go on with their lives. Move on, and, go on with their yeah, lives. But but mm -hmm. being Bahama, and I mean uh, he's lawful yeah, good, and it's like I like he's literally a zone of truth. So, like he's yeah, yeah, I know. So uh, yeah. Alex, uh, during your travel, you'll probably find like uh, the one thing along with all the items is one of uh, my diaries and stuff like that. And you mm -hmm. see, like, uh, I would want you to pass on my, well, belongings to the, the ones that you deserve. Uh, and, yeah, just, oh, yeah. Yeah, if your uh, like, trainees are ever interested, you can try to, use, to utilize the items to serve them. Uh, it's about the, the extent. Of, I probably, I probably wouldn't. I probably would have given some to Esmeralda. I probably yeah. would have given some to maybe even Heinkel and Kasumi to help protect them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I would have probably. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably would have made a memorial for Silvana um, at some point. Probably, probably, yeah, a grave or something. Yeah, but a yeah, grave. But, yeah. But yeah, just. That's about it. That's about yeah. the story of Savannah Undershank. Right. Vero, what is your epilogue? Uh, actually, there's some things I want to, like, leave it in Savannah's thing. I think probably, like, maybe a few weeks after, um, you know, her isolating herself, Vero would look for a replacement shield guardian, then go to Celestia. And ask Bahamut if he can transfer the control amulet and the shield guardian to her. <laughs> so she won't have to be alone. She'll, she'll have a shield guardian. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Right. Savannah, during your research, one of the care packages Bahamut sends you contains a brand new shield guardian. Complete with the control amulet. Mm. I and I have just probably like a letter, like from Alex and Viral. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I kind of uh, smile, but I don't respond. I don't ask for Bahamas to, you know, send the message back. Because I yeah, know yeah. it's like, better for them to move on with their lives. I guess for Viral's early, like, I guess until, like, since, he, until he becomes 30, he's probably gonna, one thought makes him, uh, find a greater purpose, like, maybe one of those times he's having fun and he's totally at peace. He looks to the village and mm -hmm. realizes that not, not, not all people have the same peace as he does, so he finds a greater calling. And what he decides to do is that he will he will go around all the planes to make sure no evil can... Like, does it, will do his best to make sure no evil uh, ever prevails again. So, no like, evil shall escape my sight. <laughs> <laughs> travel travel the planes, yeah. finding, finding yeah. evil to smite. Yeah, and then probably yeah. also ask... Um, his, his dad and Solomon to help him build up his build up the village that's under Lakewood and yeah. potentially make even more village so essentially making a kingdom that's safe yeah. under yeah. the name of of mm. Alexander in Lakewood and probably under it's, it's not exactly um yeah they did, not, but it's not like a kingdom it's more yeah, like a more, yeah if it helps it's more like a company town yeah yeah okay essentially. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, but under under the auspices of the of merchant company. Um, but your mom and dad occasionally borrow Audi Audi Autor, and they use it to expand their company beyond the plane, beyond the prime material plane. So, like, I want to make a hub that people feel safe in, and then mm. I guess ultimately, maybe like once he gets older, he realizes that. He can't keep up with like all the planes, so he's gonna get some help. Yeah. Get the idea from Alexander making an order. Yeah, uh, he's probably group. gonna look. He's gonna look for people that lost yeah. all hope or like the thrown away of the in the street. galaxy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about uh, your children, Vero? Oh yes. Yeah. Give us the juicy. Yeah, like I. <laughs> like How many offsprings bring... do you have? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how many kids do you have, yeah, Viral? Let's, let's roll a dice for that. Let's roll a dice for that. Yeah, yeah that is that. 1d6 what? plus 1. <laughs> 1d6 plus 1. All right. Do it. If I get the 6 on this, I'm going to literally die. Yeah. You're I'm going to laugh if you get the 6. Oh, it's a 5. Okay. It was close. No, it was a 6. It was close. It's a 6. Yeah, 6 kids. Right, yeah, 6 kids. Oh, yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ, Viral. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, Bazoka was like, like you know, ready to ready to party whenever you were ready. So, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. sure. Yeah. Once he gets yeah. older, he probably warmed up to it. So, yeah, like, yeah. he wants to, basically yeah, he wants to make an order. Probably, if ever his children want to join, he would mm -hmm. try to they not let them. Would. But they yeah. probably would. Yeah, not and all if, of them are of the adventuring type. Yes, but uh, yeah. some of them are more like your dad, like. Uh, uh, more like the bookish yeah. type, yeah. but you know what? They're equally helpful. They're able to get the best deals on the stuff you need. Yeah, and then well, I guess also help. Basically, <laughs> I would Sorry, also help probably like children that have been orphaned and give them a home, and yeah. then let them work under mm -hmm. my order. And then ultimately, the uh, my goal as this order, probably I'm gonna call it something like plane walkers or something mm -hmm. that. I was gonna you oh, know what wow. I was gonna say? Maybe maybe like the Rift Walkers or something yeah. like that. Rift, yeah, something that. Something that's, probably, that's probably better, so, yeah. given what Audi Audiator can do. Yes. So I um, so I give them like assignments all over the planes, and yeah. ultimately, once Viral reaches mortality because he's yeah, human, he's mortal, yeah. yeah, he uh, like you know, re like even like since Alexander and Silvana like left him. Uh, or like, and he's still probably like on his forties or fifties or something mm -hmm. like that, and he still has a lot of time to live. And luckily, he still has his family, so he isn't alone. But his last moments would be with his family, and thinking about the adventuring times he had with Silvana yeah. and yeah. Alexander. And then he would like say, give advice to all of his children, and tell them to be great and do their own mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I tell them that they have. Yeah. They have permission to do what they want. If they want to leave and explore the world, they can do that. And I just tell them to make sure they come home safely. And my my last support in action would be officially giving Audiviator to Robin, Robin. Yeah. and right. tell her to tell her to leave the Rift Walkers in my place. Yes. Alrighty. Nice. I love it. Yeah. It's a nice. Alright. Uh, Robin's oh, wait, first wait, wait, act wait. with. Oh, Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Robin's say... first act with Audiviator. No, no, is no. to teleport into the vault where Alexander keeps the deck of many things. Oh, no. yeah. God damn it! Yeah, yeah, I thought you would turn out of that! Oh no, my god. No, of course oh not! God. What did you think was gonna happen? Yeah. She takes it, she's like, it took a while, Alex, but I finally got it. Someone revive me! I have to punch my little sister in the face. Someone revive me! Oh, yes. I can't die yet, so I need to punch her. Oh, oh, by the I way. I see this uh, from Celestia, and I'm yeah. like, I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> what do you think? I, Alex would be I love how like, you're, yeah. you're saying that, and Alexander is standing next to you. It's like, I, that was literally the first thing I, she was going to yeah. do. Like, the first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Bob, right. it's, it's, it's up to fate now. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And I it, just, really, it really yeah. is up to fate. <laughs> Sorry, just All to right. cut in a little bit. So, Vero, you'll probably know that uh, because you're playing walking and stuff, you'll probably encounter one of the planes that are I created, well, Savannah created, and you'll probably find a really poor wizard that's been stuck in the inside for a really long time. <laughs> I, <laughs> I totally forgot about it. 
Can Everyone she go out? I think she can go out. Yeah, she out. can go out. She can go out. So right. at one point, oh, um, and you she... informed us about it too. So I think we'll be like, "Hey, yes. you know, Savannah isn't here." We should so we should probably back. check on her, you know, every once in a while, so yeah. that she's not yeah. just a so skeleton. Just Wait, what order. do you want us to do with your iron golem? Yeah. Yeah. Yachty's gonna go around protect the company town. Yeah, that's yeah. probably what that's you would probably do. You'd be great. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. The undershine yeah. golem. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that's where the campaign ends. Oh, oh my god, that's amazing, guys. I would like to thank you all for coming with me on this journey. Yeah. Holy Thanks, Falcon. Crap. I mean, I yeah. know DMing can took a lot, like especially with yeah. your work and all that. Uh, but uh, we, yeah. I really appreciate you took the time to help us. Pleasure's all mine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I was I was really happy with the with the ending that yeah, I was able yeah. to get. That's like crazy. that was, I I this is a funny thing. Did anyone actually catch that with Kasumi? Is she a lesbian? I mean, no, uh, no. She no. um had she actually was in love with Alexander. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, 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 I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I thought it was yeah. one quite it, but because they were so close. But anyway. so here's here. here it was funny because Falcon, uh, this was like 40 episodes ago, mm -hmm. Falcon made a reference where somebody said, like, you really care about Alexander, don't you? And then uh, Kasumi said, more than you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was like, it was the only reference. Well, it was one of the few references I think he gave, but I think yeah. it was a nice touch. Yeah. Even if without the references, I figure at least one of them likes you then more than they should because yeah, they're... Because mm -hmm. he took care of them, so I figured, hey, probably, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what a crazy, what a crazy campaign. Yeah. So we're going to uh, be doing Storm King's Thunder next. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. New DM. New character, <laughs> yeah. new DM. Yes. And yep. we get to and, play uh, on the same table. Like, again, yeah. but yeah. this time Falcon as a player. I mean, yeah, this time I'll be a player. But um, also, uh, he has agreed it is a. He'll make it bi-weekly, and mm -hmm. after we're done mm -hmm. with uh, the first session of Storm King Thunder, we'll be doing the first session of the sequel. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. So many. Ashes of a Shardalon. Ashes of Shardalon. Yes. Oh, many, it'll take place thousands of years after I this campaign. Wanna, I just want to know what happens to the Riftwalkers. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. We'll see what we'll happens see. with the Rift we'll what happens spoiler, with the Lake Woods. Well, that, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, what I, just, that's why I'm excited. Yeah. That, I'm so excited because it's like we've, I think we've all set up nice little things in the epilogues in which yeah. there'll be maybe mm. cool things that we see down the road yeah. in campaign two. But oh man. Oh man. So excited. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I, oh, you decided on the eventually the goblin cleric, right? Or yes, I'm going to play that. <laughs> hey. Oh, I can't wait for that. That's yeah, going to be interesting. Really I'm going to kill my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. I would suggest oh, you take... Yeah. I would suggest you drink a lot of water. That helps with your throat. Oh. Right. Of course, I'm the knowledge cleric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I I'm going to be playing... I was actually going to say I'm going to be uh, trying to make a thief wizard. Oh, if that makes sense. Nice. Not even, not like a rogue wizard hybrid. I might do that. Um, this one of the ideas have been kicking around, but basically he's going to be one. He'll have uh, sleight of hand mm -hmm. proficiency. Yeah. So arcane mm -hmm. trickster and, plus wizard, right? No. Well, yeah, maybe actually. I was thinking that, but and uh, two, I'm going to make sure that he has no damaging spells at all. Nice. <laughs> and I'm going to try to build I a like wizard that. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because you can uh, do you're, a really good uh, defensive I mean, wizard. And yeah, no. Debug. Well, um, I mean, no damaging yeah. spells. I mean, I'm not counting like uh, animate dead or mm -hmm. summon elemental, mm -hmm. because that'll be, that, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Be interesting. Yeah. But uh, but he can also do things like uh, enemies abound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, By the way, okay. uh, I just want to ask because I was planning on doing arcane trickster as well, blazing uh, wizard. So. Uh, since we kind of lack a party phase, I can always switch to uh, maybe uh, swashbuckler type because I really want to play a rogue. Girls doing really mm. well. Yeah, yeah. 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 I really want to play yeah. a rogue. So Viral really think? inspired us. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Because uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. No. Um, and also, 
Um, I'm not sure about how this will work. Mm -hmm. uh, I figured I might as well give you guys a right of first refusal. Um, the Planet Mercenary game that I was playing at 9 o'clock kind of broke down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. while I'm sad to see that go, I've chosen to look ahead to the future. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that future is going to have an Eberron game. Ooh. It's, my favorite, it's my favorite setting. And okay. um, it will also be significantly darker than the other campaigns that I've run in the past. Um, like this one? Even like, type? No, not, not, not uh, this one. Although I have to admit, the, the ending with Savannah was very gothic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Like victory with a cost. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like that. Honestly, I feel like Alexander might have fought Sylvana more, but I kind of felt that, like, this was. I felt that that was kind of like the ending that you yeah. personally wanted, Robin. So I, I didn't want to yeah. interfere with that. No, yeah, I neither did like, I. Yeah, for yeah. Sylvana, it's more like because Alex sacrificed repeatedly and he really deserved, like, a long needed rest. And uh, for Sylvana, it's like. Her only goal of starting this this journey is to find her family. That was to it. find and save she, her she family. She found more than that, and she like, found and saved yeah. her family. Yes, and, yeah. all she, of her families. And she meet new yeah. ones, and uh, for her, it's like a achievement accomplished. And she yep. she's willing to accept the burden uh, to you know to take to a certain extent and yeah this, yeah, yeah. this seems yeah. like a nice ending for her yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah now the eberron campaign though like i said it is darker mm -hmm. um if you've know a quick summary about eberron it's this it's set after a massive continent spanning civil war mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. it's two years after that um an unknown magical catastrophe has completely obliterated a nation oh. and the rest of the nations are in a cold war with each other uh, uh, magic nuke happened. <laughs> magic no, nuke. The thing is, no one knows what caused it. Oh. Um, no one knows what caused it. They call it the morning. No one knows what happened. Okay. It's uh, so everyone is not just afraid because the war might spark up again. Everyone's also afraid because they don't know if, what triggered the morning or if it'll happen again. It's sort right. of like the catastrophe in uh, Dragonlands, but. But, but like in Eberron, you know nothing about it. Uh, in yeah. Dragonlands, it's like the gods are really pissed to the... <laughs> well, to in, Eberron, Eberron, yeah. in Eberron, things are murky yeah. as far as alignment goes. You can meet a lawful good red dragon and a chaotic evil gold dragon yeah. on the same day. Yeah. Um, the good god can be served by an evil cleric mm -hmm. as long as you hold... Because their tenants are broad enough mm -hmm. that they can be served by both good and evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, it is darker. It's foc the campaign will focus on the effects the war had, the psychological effects of the, of the war, what it had on people. So the villains that you meet will be based on that. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. the psychotic murderer isn't like an uh, evil cultist trying to gather sacrifices. Mm -hmm. It's just a soldier who's suffering from PTSD who's unable to oh. function in the world. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, yeah. The assassins that come after you mm -hmm. aren't... Um, sent by an evil overlord. They're mm. sent by a woman who's trying to avenge the death of her son. Oh. Yeah, uh, like kind of yeah. gra gra yeah. more grounded, yeah. kind yeah. of yeah, more less gritty. classical. Yeah. Less yeah. Noir, noir, like film noir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, furthermore, um, there is firearms in this world. Gunslinger! So it's nice. The gunslinger! Yes. Yes. I was going to say artificer. Yes. Artificer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Artificer. No, Thunder uh, cannon. Just one. And if you want to use gunslinger, I'll, I'll probably allow that. Yeah, because there is a really good build uh, on I think middle uh, middle finger of uh, uh, Vecna. Vecna. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's um, really good, well balanced, and yeah, we can probably. Yeah. Use that. Well, um, one thing you should know mm -hmm. is that uh, some of the other some enemies might have their own feats. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially as far as the dragon marks are concerned, because those are feats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dragon marks. Um, awesome. Also, the healing, the way that resting works, is going to be extended. Mm -hmm. um, the l short rests take eight hours, and long rests take a week. Yeah. So combat oh, is not easy. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you don't recover yeah. That, that easy. Plus, I'll be using like the extreme injuries and fatal damage oh, rules. No. Yeah. It's like so, yes, that like means four or five damage. gunslinging assassins who get the drop on you could could get a TPK. Yeah. Combat. Yeah. It, yeah Combat is not that important. Is important, mm -hmm. but it's not. 
important, important, like it wasn't out of the past. Yeah. Like the guys who the strongest villains are like challenge rating one eight, one eight. One eight. Yeah. They, they, their power comes through wealth and contacts. Yeah, true. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh... So it's like I said, it's going to be different. It's going to be a lot darker in tone, but uh, there's also there's room for humor. Yeah. Um, my question is, is that as far as like the next campaign that mm-hmm. Farco is going to run along with the, the sequel to this one. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. are we establishing a different time? Like probably. What, so yeah. what, what are we, what are we thinking as far as like, that, yeah. 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 Because, uh, um, frankly, uh, I can do like this day, like I can do Sunday the whole day. But the, mm. the morning I got my own campaign going on, yeah. and it's nowhere near finished, so yeah. probably Sunday um, afternoon, like uh, around this time, but I'm not <laughs> quite sure about you guys. Yeah, yeah because... Focus. One sec, let me uh, reconnect. Okay. Let me right. please reconnect. Don't so Take your time. Uh, because I know Vero is like, you, for you guys, it's like Friday night? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah, Friday for night, me, Saturday morning. Right yeah. Now. yeah, for, for Vero, it's Sunday. For, for me, for it's... For me, it's Sunday as well. Uh, but yeah, it's Sunday, Sunday It's Sunday now, because for me, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Same uh, here. Um, so I know you guys know Savannah Vero like 12 hours ahead of us. Yes. Yeah, so... Think of it that way. I was going to... Uh, my suggestion would be, um... For the sequel campaign for Storm King's Thunder, mm-hmm. uh, bump it up. What if we bumped it up to like eight? So it'd be eight at night for you guys, and eight in the morning for me and Alex. Yeah, that that's that the works thing. for me. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing that, that I'm talking I about. I could do that. Uh, for me, it's like I have a for, morning for campaign. You for... got a morning campaign, yeah, so that's the only they, problem. Their their time limit is like. Their time span is like really hard to manage because we've come to a lot of agreement and finally, uh, they reach to now like the morning time. So, I mean, I, w- I really want to do this with you guys. So, it's I know it's in the morning, but your campaign's in the morning, right? It would be at night. Uh, yeah, well yeah, I would I actually, yeah, no, 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 sorry, he means it'd be the morning for us, uh, Savannah, but for you, it would be in the evening. Yeah. So when 8 p.m. exactly? Uh, 8, 8, p.m. 8, 8 p.m. or um PM. or twenty hundred. Eight p.m. today? Like uh, not today. Sunday. Um, next week. Yeah, yeah. Next so, week Sunday. So sorry, I'm I'm just trying to. So eight p.m. 8 PM, on PM for me. Yeah. Yep. Eight p.m. No time on Sunday. Also for me. Uh, and for me. But that's the thing. Uh, I have to work on Monday, so. Are you but it would be Sunday technically. 8 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah, it would be 8 a.m. for me on Sunday, but it would be your 12 hours ahead, so it would be 8 in the evening for you. Yeah, so three hours. Uh, so you'll like. You'd be you going to bed at like 11 ish. You go to bed to 11. All right. I mean. I mean, for like, think of it this way: you're going to bed at eleven. Like, you you do realize I've been going to bed at like five o'clock every Saturday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, because it's like I need to work immediately on Monday, so it's like uh, what time uh, on Monday? Monday is I usually need to wake up at six, so it's like. Uh, so like, all right, we can uh, do it at seven. We can do yeah, it at seven. seven. Your time. So you get exactly eight hours of sleep. Yeah, that's yeah. like literally the perfect amount. I usually seven or eight hours, so we can do it at I, seven. You, we at stop at ten. You go to bed. Okay. Yep. So. So will that work? Let's. All right. Let's try. Uh, you know what? Let's try eight first, and then if things wouldn't work, because uh, it's like you guys need to wake up super early as well. Uh, let's mm-hmm. try eight p.m. my time and Vero's time first, and if mm-hmm. I really need the graceful period, then I'll probably ask. I'm, I'm sorry. For seven. That, so yeah. No, no, no. That's not, fine. We can, yeah, we can, we can. So we can try out eight, and yeah. if that, if we, if you find that you need a little bit more, a little bit more time to sleep, then we can do seven. Yeah. I, I'm fine yeah. with that. So I'm uh, fine with that. What happened? The only thing about eight. PM, uh, session time. Yeah. Well, that's what we're changing it. We're changing it because, well, one, I think the biggest thing is is that uh, Viral said that. He, he, I think it's because Vero wanted to, because he's got his family thing with the church. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And he, he he wants uh, his family wants to be able to do that more consistently and not yeah. uh, you know which is which is fine. I gotta understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that that yeah, would really that's, help. That's out. what I'm asking. So we don't have anything going on uh, from one. No, the only thing about the eight o'clock time mm -hmm. that I have to say is um, that I can't do. I would not be able to do more than two hours, two and a half at the most, because I do have church. Oh, okay. But, uh, oh, at eleven, but it's but if you want, so we can bump it back an hour to seven. That would work just fine for me. Okay. All right. I think yeah, it's seven, uh, seven, seven. Yeah, sweet spot. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind waking up that early. I can, I can, I, I mean, I've been staying up till, I've been staying up till five at this point. I don't mind waking up early. Uh, yeah, you can, you'll be able to get to sleep, get some more sleep. You guys will yeah. have yeah. to sleep. I, I'm just wondering. So if I, I'm, tr I will go. I'll definitely go talk to my team. Like, if if they are willing to accept the time shift uh, on their side to 1 p.m. in the afternoon, then we can totally do the morning. And then, I mean, that's a big if. I'll well, here, here's no here's the, well, here, yeah. You don't you don't have to confirm that now. Like yeah. the, this, I think this works out quite well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, actually have a placeholder now. Yeah, we have a placeholder now, so which I'll, is better I'll than what we we swap. didn't have yeah. <laughs> a couple of weeks. Yeah, now. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll swap that uh, uh, currently right uh, into uh, seven p.m. my time. So you guys should be receiving the same uh, time period. Uh, yeah, seven p.m. Uh, now the only question is, we'll have to see if. Farco can make that. Time. Yeah, yeah. That's also the yeah. problem. That actually is slightly the problem, but at the very yeah. least, we can see if it's okay with him. Um, you know what? And uh, we should it, ask uh, when he's available. Well, well, here, here's the thing. What? Because uh, mm -hmm. um, we, we, we've got a good time for us now. Mm -hmm. uh, we can definitely send. Uh, well, I, I'm sure one of us can send a message to Farco tomorrow. Uh, since we just wrapped up the campaign, yeah, yeah. Um, nice. and we can see what he thinks if that's a okay. decent time and yeah. kind of adjusted if we need to. But I think that's a good plan. Yeah, because next week we'll probably <laughs> doing session zero uh, for Storm King's Thunder, and yeah, we'll go from there and figure out. We'll go from there. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited because it's like I've never I've never got to play a barbarian before and it'll be fun to play it'll be fun to play a different character than Alexander because Alexander was always more like yeah by Strategize the book and yeah yeah and man I'm really going out of the book with a goblin yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited yeah. a goblin. it's like I times three feels yeah. fun side uh. yeah uh, happy fun ball well. uh, I never played a rogue before so that will be so I've never really played as a player before. Yeah. Hey. So, oh, this I'm is your first time playing as a player? Really? I, rarely. I mean, I've I've played a couple times as a player, but like. Yeah, you always. End I've never actually player. played as a player. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. So this has it's been really interesting. <laughs> yeah. It was interesting. I was. I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I should make a tiefling or a human wizard, but the idea, but. The idea is that he's going to be a wizard who works for the Zentarum. Ah, oh, okay, nice. gotcha. Mm. That will be fun. Well, be so you're, mo so you're part of the mafia. Yeah, I was planning <laughs> for mine to work for the Harpers, which will be hilarious. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting. Because, yeah, that's like, I was originally going to go with that, so. <laughs> yeah, two different, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. That's good. Good. It's more story. Yeah. yeah, it's more story for sure. And then the goblins on the line because he just wants all of the knowledge in the yeah. world. Yeah. What I do, what I do, what I do like is the idea because I'm gonna be playing a big buff yeah. like tabaxi. Like, tabaxi. tabaxi. Yeah. So it's literally I could just have um the goblin on my shoulder mm -hmm. and I could just throw him into yeah. the fray. <laughs> but I'm a wizard. Yeah, I'm nope. Wizard. Too bad. Who? No. no. But wait, but I'm a Cleric! Oh wait, yeah, cleric knowledge. I keep thinking like knowledge cleric's like some sort of wizard, but yeah. not really. No. <laughs> but what, I'm, what I'm thinking of doing, if the Tabaxi doesn't wear armor, I cast mage armor on him. Yeah. Ooh, no, that'd, that'd be interesting. So mage armor plus two decks, plus um, your con from your unarmored thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not wearing any armor. Yeah. I've yeah. got like half leather, I guess. That's, that's or the no, weirdest none. part, because I was always wondering, so... I look on the internet, so the mage armor doesn't automatically give you plus two to AC, like like uh, what I was saying. Uh, they have a way of calculating that. So mage armor grants you thirteen uh, plus your dexterity modifier. So it's a whole different base of calculation. 
So would it work with Barbarian's natural uh, unarmed defense? Because they have a sort of way like 10 plus defense plus constitution, I think? 10 plus dex plus yeah, con, yeah. Plus yeah. So I'm not sure if that will work. Maybe it will, maybe it will. Because it's like, it's the same thing with Monk. So some guy on the internet comment saying, Oh, he's gonna do monk and barbarian, so he can get the multiplied. Uh, oh, get okay, it all. Yeah, like, ridiculous. but they were saying yeah. no. You have to choose a nah. way. Uh, well, for me, it's like it's like it's like I yeah. I don't I'm at this point I've I used to be all about the min maxing, yeah. but now I'm more about look if I can do cool things I can yeah. do cool things that's great. But I'm I'm more I now because I've never. This is why I wanted to also say thank you so much, Falcon, because I've never actually gotten to play in a, ro a rel the relatively role play, mm -hmm. you know, D and D. Most of my D and D mm. campaigns have been just you know basic, you know, you, you hack hit and slash, yeah. hack and slash, number Diablo, crunch. you know, yeah, number like crunch. So the yeah. fact that I got a lot of character moments in this, this campaign was yeah. just a, a blast. And Go my pleasure. Yeah. I really want mm -hmm. to thank. You. And I'm very excited because yeah. it's like in the sequel campaign. I'll probably message you about my my character I have in mind because um, well, Siberia's... the single campaign something you should know oh, about. Yes. yes, like this is going to be after. Okay. Uh, when you design your characters, as you think about that over the next couple of weeks, as you design your characters, this, remember this is a thousand of years later. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlon mm -hmm. has already come up, wrecked at, wrecked the world, and left. He's already been killed. Oh. His valor friend has been ripped out of him and killed. He's been hunted into the abyss and killed for good. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, a shard alone is dead and gone. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Okay. And, but no one can deny that he existed. Okay. okay. All right, basically, uh, because they can see the results. Um, what you need to ask yourself is this. If you could ask an infallible cleric, I'm mean, not cleric, an infallible oracle, any question in the world, any one question, what would that question be? Hmm. Like uh, our character? Would yeah, if your character could ask them that. Okay. Oh, that's I already, that, that's... Person, because that's some motivation. Because the, the questions that you ask will help determine a large portion of the campaign. Oh. Ah, okay. So but there has that... to be some... If they don't want to ask, that's that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. they don't want, if they're just there looking for treasure in the ruins of a fallen empire, that that is totally fine. Yeah. But knowing, But asking a question would really give you the incentive to explore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's your kind of character to me. yeah, that's that's actually really interesting. With because I, I don't know how our characters affected the thousand yeah, years later. Too. So well, like, that, that's like that's that's that's, that's the fun it's part. Fun, is yeah. The, yeah, we get we get to just we make our character and then we get dropped in the universe a thousand years mm -hmm. later, and it's like we get to see the ripple effect of yeah. what twenty five hundred years actually. Oh wow! 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 Let's, we're really cranking this up. Yeah. Okay, I'm. That's not two thousand five hundred years into the future. Two thousand. Oh, right. Sorry. Not twenty. Not yeah, twenty. Not twenty. 20 you were thinking yeah, twenty five thousand. No, 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 no. Two thousand five hundred. Savannah would still be alive. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. Savannah still may be alive. Uh, maybe. Oh, if no one ever me. returned. Like regular. be my patron. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh be cool. God. That, wouldn't maybe. that be interesting? Yeah, that would be interesting. Oh. God. Oh, mm -hmm. imagine the rich story uh, explorer. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh All you right. might find the Alexander's monument to her just mm -hmm. overlooking something. You might find, like, it's very unlikely, for example, that uh, Lake would keep and if the Abbey of St. Alexander survived, but you might find their ruins and you might find the treasure inside. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> that's... Oh. That'll We're gonna see like Fluffy's eggs or something. Yeah, <laughs> you may see offspring of Fluffy. Fluffy somehow a nature, survived. A, a nation composed of fa of magics using space spiders. Yeah, all uh, talking and all that eager to say hi to you. Yeah, uh, that's a horrible uh, sight. I wish to forget. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all right. uh, Falcon, just uh, send us the invite to the new campaign. Like you know. Uh, so um, yeah, clean slate. Yeah, clean slate. I will. Um, I will. It's, it's, I'm not going to do it right away. Like I said, it's going to start. Yeah, yeah, it's think, it's think, happen uh, after Storm Oh King yeah, Thunder. yeah, yeah. It's no, 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 for sure. We, we still, we still got Storm weeks. King's Thunder. Yeah. We've got Storm King's Thunder to worry about yeah. anyway. We'll have to, we'll have yeah. to see how that goes. Obviously. Yeah. But yeah, no. 
once uh, once again thank you again yeah Malkin. thanks it's been, it's yeah. been awesome yep. been um, i'd like to thank you yeah. <laughs> no worries without man. players there's no dm but without a dm there can be no players <laughs> <laughs> So All right. Comes back well, I'm gonna, I, yeah. Alexander is going to take a uh, IRL yeah. well-needed rest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And uh, I am going to get some aid. I'm hungry. Yeah. Me too. DMing is hungry work. All right. Well, good good for the last time for Out of the Past, good game. Good, game. good, night. good night. Good night. Okay. Good night.